Hi guys, welcome back to We Are Tottenham TV. It's the live watch along for the huge West Ham United versus Tottenham Hotspur game in the Premier League from the West Ham Stadium, which I believe these days is called the London Stadium. The London Stadium. I'm here with Amir. Amir, how are you? I'm doing really well, Barnaby. You know, I'm, I'm pumped for this one. You know, it's the cup final. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, we're coming in positive off a win from Luton. And I just think we need to go out there, play our football today and see how it goes in the in the rain of London today. I completely agree. Actually, you came in today with a lovely mindset, which kind of put me at ease a little bit. You were like, I've had no expectations for Spurs this season. What will be, will be. And that's kind of, Pretty I think, a, a, good, a good way to think in terms of it being Angie's first season. A lot has gone on. We've mm -hmm. shown some great stuff. And then at times, obviously, if you think about the Fulham game, we've shown the direct opposite. Yeah, inconsistency, I would say. that That's the main word that comes to mind. You know, we're up and down like a roller coaster at Chesington or something yeah. like that this season. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we can go into this one feeling confident, you know, we, we're coming off a win. And as long as we play our football tonight, I really do think we've got a chance of coming home with the three points. Um, we were saying off camera, it feels to me like if we are clinical on the day, yeah. we come home with three points. If we're not clinical, we could go home with nothing. Yeah, completely ag agree. It's like a, it's a difficult one for me. My my instinct and my hunch, and I said it on my uh, my podcast this week, mm. is that it's like classically set up for West Ham in that big kind of night derby game. It's the most important one that one for them. They hate Spurs more than anybody anybody else. I don't really fully understand why it's the case that most most London clubs hate Spurs more than anyone else. But there you go. And uh, obviously, it's now pissing down with rain out there as well. Moyes ball. The, the fans don't really like David Moyes, despite the fact he's won them a trophy. He's got yeah. them in the quarterfinal of the Europa League. I, you know, I do not know what they expect to be quite honest. But a night like this. Set pieces, James Ward-Prowse starting. I don't feel like Spurs defending set pieces is what we're best at. So I do worry about that. But in the same vein, I also know exactly what you mean. I feel like if we are clinical, if we are able to take chances, get in behind them, get to the byline, cut a load of balls back, then yeah, I, I could see us potentially getting a... I think the key will be if we can get a goal early and set their fans against them, like Arsenal did, who scored, I think, five in the first yeah, half against yeah, them, yeah, then that, that could happen. But, e uh, but equally, I could see us you know, conceding a few from corners and set pieces. Uh, again, this is, this is what we go into every game. You know, I, I was at the Luton game and I was thinking, you know, surely we get on the on the mark early we get going you know we can win two three and it just doesn't go again it just goes against us mm. they got the early goal and then we're struggling to get back in the game for the next hour or so so i really do hope that we can get you know on the sheet on the score sheet first and and try and make things more comfortable for us um but like you said the conditions out there it's only going to benefit the hammers really surely the, the wind the rain set pieces the ball's going to be skidding off people's heads so we just have to remain focused and if we can be clinical up top you know you go back to that west ham game earlier this season if we were clinical in that game we could have been yeah. three four ahead yeah and we ended up losing two one was it so yeah. You know, let's hope we can we can fix that this evening and, and totally. try and get there. Try Big Ange has made three changes from the lineup against Luton. Let's mm -hmm. go through them now. Uh, Vicario in goal, Porro, Romero, Van der Ven, and Udogi make up the back four. Basuma keeps his place. There were a few fans wondering whether uh, Pierre Emil Hoiberg were coming for him, but I think Ange has actually been consistent all season in that if we're going to play the style of play we want, we need Basuma to be on the half turn as much and as possible. I think he was all right actually against Luton. Yeah, I think he did okay. I think he did, and then. Benton Court comes in for Pat Matasar. They've been talked for a few weeks that Sars maybe been playing with a little bit of a back, back a back injury, issue. Yeah. So maybe that's got something to do with that. James Madison, of course, uh, keeps his place. Although you know we will be playing, you know, against Forest on Sunday. That'll be our third game in a week, and he's come back from injury. So it'll be interesting to see how long he plays. And then Werner continues on the left by looks of things. Johnson comes in for Kulusevski on the right with Sonny up front on the bench. Austin, Royale, Dragushin, of course, drops back to the bench mm -hmm. uh, now that Van der Ven is back in. Uh, ben Davis, Pierre Emil Hoiberg, Pat Matasar, as we mentioned, Gio Lo Celso, Kulusevski, and Richarlison. Indeed, and I, and I think the key one there for that, you know, that change is Johnson coming in for Kulu, and I think he's just warranted that he's played his way into the team. Has has young Brennan, and his performances coming off the bench have been fantastic. He was the game changer against Luton. 
And I'm really expecting some big things from him tonight. His work rate, and hopefully, you know, he can increase those numbers of assists and goals that he's been getting for us as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I, I'm expecting West Ham to play quite deep, so it'll be interesting mm. to see whether he's able to get any space in behind Emerson. And I'm also intrigued to see uh, whether Werner can really have a run at, at Kufal because he's not that quick, he's quite old now. But the West Ham team, Lucas Fabianski comes in uh, because of injury to their normal keeper, and Kufal on the right, Mavropanos, uh, Zuma and Emerson on the left, Ward Prowse and Suchek in the middle with Pakatar in the 10, Jared Bowen, Kudus and Antonio up front. One thing I would say, I feel in terms of, as you know, I always like to mention the script element of these games. Suchek and Antonio love to score against us. Bowen uh, does and, too. Ja and I do worry about Jared Bowen and Kudus in behind Porro and Udogi when they're kind of playing that inverted I'm fullback just, role. I'm just as worried as you, Barnaby. You know, when I hear those names, Kudus, Bowen, Paqueta, honestly, you know, they'd frighten the life out of most teams in yeah. the Premier League. Um, I think Bowen's got like 15 Premier League goals or something, quite he, a lot anyway. He's been phenomenal. And honestly, if he wasn't a West Ham player, I'd be saying sign him up to Spurs as mm. soon as possible because he's honestly, he's been fantastic. And, you know, his, his bullish behaviour on the ball, he bullies people off it. He it's, does. It's really impressive. Paqueta, we know he has the technical ability to just thread through a ball. So, you know, if Antonio's on his game, he might get a few chances uh, this evening. Yeah, totally. And, uh, yeah, I've just got dreams, uh, dreams, sorry, nightmares from from down the years of, of Antonio doing oh. his, his silly little dance after scoring against us. But I'm hoping that having, by bringing it up early, I'm hoping that maybe uh, it will show I know nothing about football and none of them will score. Um, Sonny is now, I would say, the permanent number nine, mm -hmm. don't you think? You, and yeah. do you think that's deserved? I mean, obviously, Richarlison had his run of nine goals in 10 or 11 games. He'll be a little bit, he'll be a little bit peeved on the bench. Obviously, he's come back from injury, but mm. it's good to have depth. Yeah, I mean, we were saying before kickoff, right? Our, our bench actually looks very strong. You've got the likes of Lacelso there, Richarlison, Saar. You know, so you've got a lot of players that can influence the game coming off the bench, which to me can only be a, a beneficial thing for, for Tottenham. When it comes down to the number nine, I think look, Sonny, at the end of the day, pure quality, he's always going to give you 110% on the pitch. And in terms of his finishing, I think he is just that little level above Richarlison. Yeah, oh, just definitely. Little, in terms of finishing, absolutely. Little, yeah. It's whether, what do you think about their kind of hold up play comparatively to one another? Who who, who do you feel stronger in that? I, I really noticed against Luton, and I mentioned this week in my mm. show, Sonny coming incredibly deep at times, even deeper than Madison to the halfway line to get the ball. Uh, I felt like that was maybe because he just wasn't getting enough, he wasn't in the game enough. Yeah, I think that was the case. And, and you know, when you're not in the game, you do tend to drop a little bit deeper to try and get hold of the ball. For me, Sonny's more effective when he's he's further forward. I want Sonny receiving the ball in our in in the third yes. of the pitch and turning on it and, and running at defenders and causing havoc. And even you know if if Sonny's making those runs left and right off the centre backs, it's creating more space for the wingers then to to run into. So I think his work rate up front is going to be you know so valuable for us tonight. And I'm just hoping he can continue his goal scoring. Look, he's he's been on fire. He's on he? 15 goals, isn't he? Premier yeah. League goals, amazing return. Because let's return. let's not forget, last season a lot of people were were basically signing his Premier League death warrant. Oh, thought he thought he'd, he'd lost his legs. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. And let's not forget, he was out for the Asia Cup as well for a, for a good few games. Yeah, so. unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. So. I, I just wanted to ask Amir what your thoughts are on uh, because at the weekend West Ham were obviously three one up against Newcastle mm -hmm. at St James's Park. Never easy for anyone to get a result there. And then they let it slide to 4-3 and I was sat here and I was like, oh, I'm not sure if actually that's exactly what we want before our big game against West Ham because they'll, I mean, not that they wouldn't have been be pumped hurt. up enough for this anyway, they'll now be hurt as well. Do you, do you think that way or do you think it could be that, like I said earlier, if we can kind of get our, thro our foot on their throat while they're down? Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's the case, Barnaby. You know, it's a wounded animal. We all know that a wounded animal can be at the most dangerous, but if we do get that foot on the neck and we get that early goal, we can silence that London stadium and we can go on and really push on and try and get the victory that the Spurs fans deserve, you know. I'm looking back at that game against Villa. Yeah. You know, we came out, we absolutely destroyed them. We got the win and the clean sheet. Everyone's coming home feeling great. That's what I'm looking for in this match tonight. Yeah, that would be amazing too. I, what I'm really hopeful, on, what I'm really hopeful of, yeah, the, the the players are out on the pitch now. It is absolutely pissing down. So Horrible much so that David Moyes has gone full Umbro cap 
with his uh, umbro jacket. You don't often see oh, Moisey in a cap. Off, he's just he, he's off. obviously heard me because the cap has has just come off. Um, I don't know. It just I just want I'd love us to to oh, put a few early goals oh, past and make it please, really difficult. For and just gone full hood up. He's gone full hard up. He's never he's never gone to the uh, London Stadium before and seen these ridiculous tiny little bubbles that they blow out of these <laughs> sad, pathetic machines for the game. Referee is John Brooks. Looks like we're about to kick off. We will be uh, going into the comments a little bit as we go. Heath Bailey says, a big defeat tonight, I'm sorry to say. Oh, G. No, Moore says, expecting this to be a very tough game will not be an easy task. Uh, I agree with that. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be difficult. Lim Stevens says, we struggle to beat Luton at home, so I see us losing tonight at the London Stadium. 3-1 to West Ham. Spurs, hopeless. Okay, so some people feeling as nervous as I am, I think it's fair yeah, to say. Yeah, definitely. I think even more than you, Barnaby, to be honest. No, I think, look, we've got a good shot at it here tonight. We've got, you know, pretty much our full team out there. Yeah. A lot of firepower on the bench. Just got to start fast. Come on, Tottenham. Here we go. And we've kicked off. And, of course, Van der Ven back. So we, we talked about... Um, we talked about the, the threat of Bowen and Kudus, but at least we've got Van der Ven's pace to try and deal with it. West Ham uh, looking to press us high early doors, but Madders tries a ball through to Sonny. Oh, Sonny. Doesn't quite come off. I do love the um, all-white kit in these night games. Looks so good. I, I wouldn't be afraid of us going all-white forever, to be honest. Oh, I think it's controversial. No, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight to be seen. And, and I just think that the lads tonight, you know, hopefully... I've, I've tend to notice that sometimes when we're away, the pressure can be off. Just you don't have the you know fifty five thousand screaming fans. Yeah. You know, and you just have that away support, and sometimes you can focus a little bit more on your football. I'm just hoping that's the case. Yeah, I completely agree. Evening. Robbie Savage just on Cocoms now already saying that he thinks Mickey Van der Ven is one of the best centre backs in the Premier League, and I agree. And we've already seen just in this first minute. He's played a ball out to, um, oh, lovely, oh, lovely, lovely from play. Destiny. Uh, he's played a ball out to um, Werner, which was a ball we weren't able to see at all because Dragusheen, no shade on Dragusheen, but he's not a left-sided centre-half and we missed that balance is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. And look, Mickey, if he can just keep that ham hamstring, you know, I know, that fit and healthy and, and good to go, he, we're really looking at one of the is best there a, Is there a way to literally wrap a hamstring in cotton wool? I'd be up for it if there was. Oh, I'd love to know. I'd love to know. So, so far, first minute and a half, not surprisingly, Spurs having all of the ball, West Ham kind of with a, a block of four trying to press us when Romero and Van der Ven have got the ball. It's almost a half press there, Barnaby. You know, they're not fully pressing the ball there. Yeah. What I've liked twice is Benton Coe's received the ball twice and both times kind of dummied it so he's taken the kind of got that ball forward straight away mm. which is nice that's something he offers us a bit better than Saar he's just played it that's a risky ball though. it was a risky ball but I don't mind him trying that but uh, Bowen now out on the right with Madders it's done well in there. a good position really well there Madders that's a lovely that's where Sonny needs to be better Benton could just play lovely ball between the lines into Son in the kind of midfield but Sonny just let it bounce off him but uh, let's face it it's a very wet day is a difficult one. It maybe bounced up a little bit, but Spurs looking to do their thing early doors, which is good to see. Good pressure, Sonny. Keep yeah. it on. Sonny's pressing Fabianski, who goes long. It's good pressure. And it's a good ball from Fabianski out to Kufal, who gets it onto Bowen. This is good stuff, actually. They've, they've got three on three here, West Ham. Romero does Great beautifully. Challenge. Great challenge. Oh, lovely for Madders. Oh, Madders, little step over. Give it to Timo. Go on, Timo. Uh, Oh, and a bad pass from Timo there, to be fair. Really bad, actually. He was actually. a bit hesitant there. He was. So, Paqueta's just gone down from a challenge, and this is something I expect to see a lot, especially when they get into our half, just trying to go down very easily to get quick free kicks. And they've taken a quick free kick up to Antonio, and Romero, for the second time, has nicked the ball off him. But, yeah, like I said, it wouldn't surprise me at all if uh, just West Ham tried to... Oh, that's poor from Porro there. Kudus has nicked it off Poro, who was being a bit, bit lackadaisical there. Chance here. Really oh. huge chance for Jared Bowen. Came through to him. He's only about nine yards out. And I think Antonio maybe got in his way a little bit. Huge chance for Spurs to lose the first goal I don't early think, I again. I don't think Bowen thought the ball was going to come through to him. I, I think he thought Antonio was going get, to get on the end of that. Uh, I can't tell you how huge a chance that is. It wow. just, in the end, it comes off his shin. But, but how easy is it to get him behind us? Well, that came, from, that came from that came from Poro just being really, really bad. That's a foul. <laughs> yeah, Werner's just won a good foul there from Kufal. Got a bit tight to him. 
as you'd expect in a huge London derby like this, a nice pace to it, early doors. It's been tasty. Crowd, uh, there've already been like three or four fouls and the crowd are really in it. And West Ham, hilariously, their fans chanting champions of Europe, which basically shows that they don't really understand how it works. <laughs> they are, of course, champions of a European competition, but it's also lovely turn from Bentica. He's already beautiful. made be three beautiful turns. Go Doggy on. driving at them. bentica has got it back. Gives it back out to Werner. What can you do here? Get to the byline, Timo. Come on. Yeah, good lad. Get across the front. Go on. 1-0. 1-0. Yes. Come on. 1-0. Brennan, Brennan Johnson. Johnson. Be onside, VAR. Brilliant. That all no, came from Benton Kerr in central onside. midfield, taking it on the half Come turn, on. which he's done three times already. We've got the early goal we wanted, Barnaby. Come okay. on. Let's have a look, though. I, you know I don't like to celebrate because I'm so don't. afraid. No, you celebrated this one, so I'm happy for you. Come on. No, there was no way that was offside. Timo. Pretty much. I've been saying all week, 85% of all Spurs goals this season are scored exactly this way out to the wide band, get it into the byline or somewhere near, and then get it across to the, the other wide man. And Werner, who's been taking so much stick with a beautiful bit of play, really takes well on there, Kufal. Too. Brennan's gambled. Oh, you see, he's I think side. he's behind he's the ball. Side. I think he's he should side. be behind the ball. The lino yeah. hasn't given it. Let's see. No, he was definitely onside there. Well, he can't see from there. He should be behind the ball. It's great. It's, it's great a beautiful finish from Johnson. It's great wing play. It's Johnson has missed play. two chances this season, just like this, where it's coming across him. But you see, he's gambled. What Kulu didn't do the whole of that first half against yeah. Newton, he's gambled and he's got the goal. He's got his just rewards. Brilliant wing play there by Werner. And Johnson just gambled. At the okay, back post. the game has kicked off. 1-0 on. Spurs. Come on, Tottenham. They can't take it off me once it's already kicked off. Come on, Tottenham. <laughs> beautiful. And now it's the Spurs fans you can hear. Now, what I want, and obviously what Ange will want, is for us to continue with that positive play through central midfield. Very impressed with Benton Kerr and how he's, how he's dealt with these first few minutes. Yeah, no sign of that dodgy toe that people are no, talking about. No, that I even talked about. <laughs> Paqueta gets it out wide. Kudus driving at Poro. Great Good stuff, tackle. Pedro Well Poro. in, Poro. And oh. again, and again, Poro. Don't foul him. Oh, well done, unlucky. well done. That was good from Poro there, though. Now, don't want us to sit back here. Oh, lovely ball out to Kufal. That's it. Stop the cross. No cross at source, Timo. Well, well done. done. Use his strength, but don't well foul done. him. That's going to be a corner. Yeah, corner to West Ham. But Timo did well there. Would you uh, sign Timo up now for 15 million? Absolutely, I would. Yeah. Because I think in terms of squad depth, you're not going to get someone of his level I hear that. for the same amount of money. I know, I hear that. I hear that. I'm, not, he saying, I'm not saying I think he's going to become our starter at left forward for the next three seasons, but... I think in terms of what options are, I mean, I guess it depends on the homegrown stuff as well. Okay, corner coming in, they've got three men on Vicario and Away. they're just putting it on his head. Okay, that's gonna be another Ooh. corner. Bit shaky there from Vic. Well, Vic was shaky. I think he's maybe run into his own man, but that's what they do. They basically block the space so that he can't come for it. I mean, yeah, yeah he should just catch it really, but it's a wet day. But also if you're gonna punch, punch out, not you know, yeah. he kind of punched it back into the danger zone there. Come on, Vic. I think we've gone back to this thing where we're not stopping them from blocking Vic. Good first header one. Squeeze out. Well done, Spurs. Get out wide, Destiny. Okay, just stop that ball from going in. They want to get all crosses in all days, um, West Ham, and we've got to stop the cross at source, which is not what we've been good at this season. There it is. Lovely from Udogi stopping that cross from Kudus. Good stuff. Oh, multi-ball system. Time. Okay, get rid. Just get rid of it. Just knock it off the defender. I agree. Don't. Completely agree. He's lost out. Ooh, ooh, just stand up. They're going to try and win oh a foul God. here. Lovely strength well from Destiny. Well done, you doggy. That's a foul, surely. Oh, the ref. ref. Come on. He just used his strength beautifully there. And it's offside. Lovely. Udogi's shown some lovely touches today. I think he's pumped for this. Oh, yeah. He's well up for it. I just don't understand the ref there not giving the foul. No, I completely agree. Because, look, he's, he's used his strength beautifully. He's got the ball. And then he's kicked him. Yeah. I think he's just seen it as kind of six of one, but I disagree. Mm. That was good stuff. I just don't want West Ham to settle here into their rhythm. I'm feeling like since we got the goal, they're, they're, they're trying to get into this game. I don't want them in it at all. We've oh. got to carry on focusing on our game, creating the chances, more wing play by Werner. And like you said, that midfield, it was looking very, very good with Ben Tancor. A few early touches there for yeah. the Uruguayan. I love this from Van der Ven. He's so good, isn't he? Oh, look. Go on, Sonny. Sonny's he's surrounded a bit here, but he's done well. Held it up. Werner now on the left. Oh, Madder's just made an interesting run, but that's good. Out to Bentancourt. Bentancourt, look. There's space on the wing. 
Yeah, the commentator just said, nice balance early from Spurs, and it has. Lovely ball from Madders out, out to Werner, who's just made a bad oh, ball, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a lovely run from Madders, but good, good press idea, on. Good lovely idea. for Mudogi. Find someone. That's it. Sonny, out wide. This is good stuff from Spurs. Poro, I've been asking him to have more shots. Oh, Ooh. my God. I literally said all week we want to get Poro into more shooting opportunities. Unlucky. Well just done, wide. Hits it across the keeper, and it just skims past the right hand, uh, the left-hand post. Good effort. Oh, very close. Very close. Literally Poro. been saying it this week. That's good. Yeah, Doggy, he's right. Robbie Savage saying it. Doggy won the ball up high again for about the third time this half. Beautiful stuff. Come on, let's keep going, Spurs. And just determined not in let, letting the weather put a dampener on his evening, that's for sure. Come on, Tottenham. Come on, Ange. That should be our ball. Yep. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, Ange didn't like that one. No. Nine minutes, ten minutes gone. Personally, I think it's absolutely shameful for a modern-day stadium to be built where you can still get rained on. But I guess it, it is an athletic stadium. Let's not forget that. Yeah, it was built for the Olympics, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay, it goes back to Fabianski, who goes long. And that's gone straight out of play, surely. Yeah, throw into Spurs around the halfway line. The uh, commentator and the co-commentator waxing lyrical about how well Ange has done. I completely agree. I don't think any of us would have thought we'd be in this position. Oh, and that's a bad throw from your doggy. Uh, after, with, with nine games left, that's what I think. Okay, so West Ham with the ball with Zuma. Into Kudus, who seems to be kind of their main go-to guy a little bit. Oh, it's come down the left here. Stand up, Christian. Well done. Well done, Romero. Oh, beautiful pass from Romero on the turn. Oh, that's another lovely oh, turn from Bentecourt. Beautiful. And Matters, on, Matters has got some space here. Use your strength, Matters. Good. Put Sonny in. Okay. Sonny is out wide. It's three on three, four on three now. Oh, he's picked the wrong oh, ball, oh, Sonny. That's oh, pretty oh, rare. Oh, Matters oh. Oh, Matters did well there, you know? He nearly won it back. Yeah. But Pakatar clears up. But a terrible ball. And Poro, oh, well done. But Kudas wins it back. They're, they're all struggling a little bit with the wet pitch, aren't they? Mm. But uh, it's got a really nice tempo to it, this game. Moyes doesn't look too happy with West Ham's start. No, but let's get the second. Let's get the second. Come on. Moyes' face looks permanently like mine when it's hung over. Just like creases everywhere. Lovely win from Romero up against Antonio there, showing him who's, that he's just as strong as him. Good stuff, and Spurs have the ball back. And Bentancur is a constant uh, pass that is on for both Van der Ven and Romero. He's taking up some lovely positions. This is a good game for Bentancur. Like, no, I'm no, no shade on Sa. I think he's a wonderful player, but to have a little bit more control in central midfield. Yeah, just a little break for Sa. You know, he's played so many minutes recently. True. And True. he's been flying out to Senegal to join his uh, country yeah. as well. Good stuff. Poro has gone in an early cross there. That's interesting. It's What's come idea. all the way across? It's a good idea by Poro. No one gambled. Nice, nice. Well Udogi done. back to Werner. Good stuff. Go on, oh, Udogi. Yeah, he's probably done the right thing there. It comes back to Bentancur and out to Werner again. Bowen and Kufal fronting him up. Gets it to Madison. There's no one in the box, so he keeps going with it. Put Werner in. Go on, Sonny. Oh, oh has a shot. Unlucky, unlucky. Easy that's, save for Fabianski. That's but good some play, though. Yeah, good some play. space for Son in the box to take his shot, and he just doesn't get it wide enough, but good stuff from Spurs. Oh, we look a threat every time we oh, come forward. We're absolutely, a we do. Brilliant. More of this. Come on, Tottenham. Oh, lovely touch from Bowen as it comes through the middle. Good hold-up play from Jared. I agree with what you're saying. He's a lovely player. And back in the day, he is a player that potentially Spurs could have looked at buying. But if you look at how much they insisted on getting for Rice, you're not going to get Bowen out of that club for much less than 80-odd million, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. Pakata, I think this is something we can't let Pakata have too much time in central midfield because he's a lovely player. Okay, chance for a cross here on the on the left for West Ham. Good tackle, well in Biss. Oh, Madders, okay, got away with that thing there. That's all right, that's all right. Vicario's ball. Madders got to be careful with those um, slide tackles because we don't want to be giving Ward-Prowse the chance to get the ball into the box from free yeah, kicks. Yeah, we've got to be very careful at giving away set pieces around that penalty area, for sure. There is so much more space on this pitch for Spurs than I expected there to be. I thought I think West Ham are a little bit off it, you know. 
I don't, I'm not. I'm not saying we're definitely going to win this game, but they're jogging a bit. Do you know what I mean? Like in spaces like this, you'd expect them to be right on us. I think that goal's taken the stuffing out of them a little mm. bit. Well, it definitely would. Especially Lovely after, from Bentancur. After what happened up at St James's Park, you know. Werner one on one against Kufal again here. Go on, Werner. Yeah, good lad, and across. Ooh. <sighs> Tell you what. That Werner against Kufal battle. He's looking a threat every time he every comes down time. the left, huh? No one's helping him doubling up either. Come on, Turbo Timo. Seems like a great guy. I just wish he could finish a little bit better, you know? Yeah. It's not that he can't, because he's had a, you know, he's had a season at Leipzig when he scored 35 goals, but it's that he doesn't have the confidence anymore. That, that Chelsea period has really battered him. But he's still able to to cause real trouble and get assists. And he's creating, yeah. So as long as he keeps doing that for us, fantastic. Lovely press from Spurs. That's our throw in. Come on, Tottenham. That's the first time up. Spurs have been ahead in a game for a long time, isn't it? Feels like it. Yeah, certainly feels like it. Oh, I guess Villa will be the last time, will it? Yeah. It's it's yeah. at home where we've we've lost the first goal a lot, I think. Okay, look at this. So Basuma is going to enjoy this. If he gets as much time as this on the ball all game, he's going to love it. Comes back out to Mickey van der Ven, young player of the year, surely on the list for that this season, Mickey van der Ven, and Udoggy, I'd say, as well. Both of them are going to be in the Euros for the teams, right? Yeah, you would have thought so, for sure. So. They've played their way into the squad. Oh, lovely from there. Romero called Bentenko forward to get the ball off him and then just dinked it over his head straight into Udoggy. Oh, nice from great beautiful play. ball from Go Werner. On. Go on, Destiny. Just Go on, you can going. win something there. That's a foul, keep but he's, going. he's still in, using his strength beautifully, Destiny. Is he giving us oh, a Oh, he's foul? giving us a free kick? Yeah, I'm up, I'm up for that. I mean, he mu it must be. I'm up for that. That's good refereeing, and Robbie Savage agrees with me. So he fouled Udogi, but because he's so strong, he just got straight back up. And he still managed to get to the ball. And he's just called it back because he didn't feel like we had an advantage. Good stuff. 16 minutes gone. West Ham nil, Tottenham one. Come Matters on, with a free kick that is on the left-hand side of the penalty area. Real chance to whip this towards the far post. And maybe nobody gets anything on it and it goes straight in. That's what I'd be aiming for if I were him. Or stick it straight onto Romero's head. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Come on, Christian. You're due a goal. Come on, Matters. Good delivery here. Anything along the ground in that little space, too, could spill off uh, Fabianski. This is a great opportunity here. Come on, Tottenham. It's your, new, your new haircut. Good ball. Yes. Oh, unlucky. West Ham with the header out. Basuma's just retrieved it. Oh, I'll oh, tell you what. Shaky. Tottenham win it. Oh, we've done well, though. Udogi again. Oh, what a player. And he's gone for the reverse. Oh. What a player Udogi is. Oh, my God. He's just bullying every single West Ham player off the ball. He's 20. Or something. I think he might be even younger. He's 19 or 20, I think. It's a ridiculous talent. He's built like a Land Rover defender, you know. He's just, he's, he's something else. Yeah. Something else. Spurs have won the ball back again. Basuma into Madison in central midfield. He's looking to pull the strings. Come on, Madders. Rodrigo Bentancor on the ball. West Ham are basically fronting the midfielders up with about three or four men whenever they get it in central midfield. But every time we're able to get it past those four, there's so much space. Van der Ven into Werner. That was a lovely little pass from Werner back then as well, wasn't it? Brave. It was. It was. Little reverse pass. And, you know, he's looked bright. Looked bright since the start, Werner. Great assist with the goal. Looks like he's got the beat in a coup foul every time down that side. Romero's playing some lovely little balls to uh, break the West Ham little half press that you mentioned. You doggies there. There we go. The, oh, oh unlucky, that was, that was the one that he got wrong. So Poro's now working back and he's done well. That's given us a bit of space. You've got to work now, Timo. Timo, you've got to keep working, boy. Timo, you've got to go with Kufal. Okay, Bentica's gone with him. Jared, get, Jared Bowen getting to the byline here. Chance, well cleared at the front post by Van der Ven for a West Ham corner. <clears throat> it's good defending. Yeah, took up a good position, that. This is where we have to be switched on. These totally. kind of set plays... <laughs> We've all, they, West Ham have already caused Spurs a bit of trouble with these corners with uh, putting all their big men, Suchek and Zuma and Antonio, around the goalkeeper, which is happening right now. Mavropanos also big. Here it comes. Bowen straight on the keeper's head. It's a goal. It's just inevitable. Uh, We've been talking about it all week. I said we had to be switched on. We can't defend on. those. Kurt Zuma. 
And you know what? It's in that region where I would expect the keeper to come out and get that. You yeah, know? but they're blocking. They're blocking his run, yeah, and we've got are. to put players on them. They are. They are. It's just, ah, oh, it's infuriating, Barnaby. You know, you can see it coming a mile off. Such a shame. It's ruined all of our good work. And once again, I've got to say, it's probably yeah, it's three of them. So look at this. Him. Look, Vicario. Blocked by Antonio. He's got to and it's, come for it's that only though. like three yards out. Yeah, well, he, sh he can't allow himself to be blocked. Yeah, for me. <sighs> Look, no one's challenged Zuma either. No one's challenged This is the him. one, it's possibly so one negative I've got about Big Ange is that he's come out and said, which I don't think helps him, that he has no interest in specific set piece coaches, but we're so bad at defending set pieces. Something needs to be done. And you look at how good Arsenal are when they are on set pieces. You know, they've scored time and time again from set pieces. Yeah. Once again, no clean sheet for Spurs. And first 20 minutes, we've been absolutely brilliant, but a set piece, as I've suggested all week, might be our undoing tonight has let us down. Come on, Tottenham. Let's get back in this. Come on. And this will give them the kind of extra 5% that they I feel they've been off it so far today. But there you go. One all. Bubbles everywhere. So budget. Just soap and water, isn't it, at the end of the day? That's good stuff. We're in down the right Come here. on, Tottenham. Oh, nice oh. idea into matters, but it didn't happen. And West Ham now got a little buzz about them, but it's gone out for a throw. This is the issue, you know. We never, we never really take the initiative in a game, you know. I think we have tonight, but we've <sighs> we've let it go. But look, I agree with you. Vicario has got to just at some point he's going to have to he's learn that in the Premier League you've got to take everything out with you. You That's take everything yeah, out exactly, and it's close enough that he really needs to take command of that six-yard box. For Completely. me, he's got to come for that ball. Completely. And, it's, and he's allowed to get, you know, just in the same way that Antonio is allowed to block him, he's allowed to get around Antonio. Yeah, you can push him out of the way, it doesn't matter. Oh, lovely idea from Bentecourt, but Madders didn't get hold of it. West Ham have the ball back, and Pakatar with some good stuff, and Kudus on the ball now. West Ham with a little bit of spring in their step now. Come on, Sonny. Oh, they've gone for one over the top. Antonio holding it up. Destiny does well. Nice. Give it early, Destiny. Get up, Antonio, stop faking. This is not what we needed because we had their crowd quietened and we were playing beautiful stuff. Well, he's giving yeah, it's it a handball. Hand it's a handball against Antonio. He's trying to grab the ball. It's not rugby, Antonio. Come on, Spurs. Let's get back into this. Come on. Bit quicker. Come on, Tottenham. Just move the ball. Just, it's a shame it's so inevitable with the set pieces, really, isn't it? That's what, that's the Do you know what? the teeth. Let's not forget, Harry Kane used to clear all of those. All of oh, them. that front stick. It kind of just comes straight over that position where you should have, we used to have him just on that little corner. He'd clear all of those. His head was a magnet for those, yeah. those uh, defending balls coming in. Anyway, Romero out to the right. Brennan Johnson gets on the ball. Have oh, a look. oh. Don't just a bit slow there, there Bentecourt, but Romero there. does well. That's all right. Lovely. Nice position there from Brennan Johnson. Back to Basuma, who gives it to Madders. Madders is dropping deeper here to get on the ball. Yeah. I still like us on the ball a lot, but it's yeah, obviously those good. set pieces. We look good. Careful, Rodrigo. Oh, he's done well there. He's got away from Ward Prowse at least first time. But he's still working hard, Ward Prowse. And it goes back to Romero. They're sitting well in their shape, West Ham. Lovely here. ball. Oh, dear Sonny. Got to hold it up, boy. It's a bit too easy for West Ham. It was there. But... Come on, Timo. Okay, West Ham going for a big ball down the channel into... Don't foul him. There's two of you there. That doesn't need to be. Oh, my well God. Done, Van der Ven Mickey. is just ridiculous. Oh. The fans asking for a foul there, but Van der Ven just stood up and let, Va let Jared Bowen bounce off him. That was Maldini-esque. Well, as I was saying at the time, I was worried about him being so wide there, but when you win the ball, it doesn't matter. Look at all the space Johnson's in on the other side. Yeah. 
Come on, lads. Let's move it a little bit quicker. One, two touch. Come on. Spurs back on the ball with all the possession. Bentoncourt into Sonny, who takes a lovely touch this time. That's good stuff from him in the nine. Gets it back now off Udogi and turns. He's going to look Brennan. for Johnson. Oh, oh it's been cut more. out by Poro. Oh. That was a shame because that could have gone all the way to Johnson, I oh, think. Biss, win that. Win that, Biss. Stand up. Don't foul him. Fouls him. He doesn't have to foul him there. No. He can just stand him up. Yeah. And he's got to be careful, Bissouma, you know? We've seen what happens when he loses his head this season. West Ham fans trying to get Basuma booked there, but it's nothing more than a foul. No, no there's, how can it be a yellow card? He's literally just trying to nick the ball off him. <laughs> West Ham with a free kick in their own half. Mavropanos and Kufal. Is it Sufal? Maybe it's Sufal over it. it One all. Kufal and Suchek, no? Yeah, maybe. 25 minutes gone. They've gone for the big diag, and it's over Poro's head. It's a bit easy. Antonio now. <laughs> He's going to look to get us cross in, I would have thought. Stand him up, Paul. Well done, Pedro. Well done. Wins it off well him. Well done, Pedro. And gives it nicely to Brennan. He gives it to Bentoncourt. Ah, he ah. tries to turn it around the corner, but wasn't quite there for Sonny. And West Ham now looking a little bit perky. Oh, Mickey's giving it to Bowen. Big chance. Okay, well blocked. Oh, oh. Vicario does well. well in the done end. Done well there, Vicario. He saves a corner, but it looked for a second like he might accidentally tip it to a West Ham player. It was giving me flashbacks of the goal they got at the, our place when it just ricocheted around and came to yeah, Bowen. They scored two lucky goals against yeah, us, didn't they? Yeah, they Bakari did. does really well there. Come on, Tottenham. Let's get, get back in this one. Come on. Oh, Bowen's actually on 19 Premier League goals. I'll tell you what, they've that's put incredible. good fall into... Go on, Johnson. Oh. Is that a Spurs player here coming? Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Johnson did well there, to be honest. It was a bit unlucky. Bowen's made a run and a doggy stayed with him, which I'm not sure he should have done. But actually, he's done he's well. Done got his really body in a good well position there. in the done end. Really well, you doggy there. Just using his, his strength. Muscle bowing out of it. This game could end up about four all, I think. I really do. I know it doesn't seem like there are guilt edge chances, <laughs> but it's got such a tempo to it. It's definitely a high tempo. I'm just hoping we can get one before half time. Come in with the lead. Oh, I'd love that, obviously, but... Nice Here ball from Basuma. Oh, oh, nice idea. Bas Mad is trying to get a through, quick through ball into uh, Sonny there, but it's cut out. But it comes back out to Brennan Johnson. Mad is now. Mad is like a, a little bee. He's really wanting to get on the ball as much as possible, which is good. Bentica back out to a doggy. Nice little uh, dummy from the ref there. Totally unnecessary. Could have just walked out the way of it. <laughs> but, you know, it is the Premier League, so that's what you'd expect. Oh, lovely little here chance here. Oh, terrible ball from Poro. He was in such a beautiful position and he had way more space, I think, and time than he thought. He tries to play a through ball, I think, back to Madders, who'd made a run. It just doesn't quite come to him, but he had more time than that. But yeah, that's good to see us getting in those areas again. You said it at the start. If we're clinical, we'll win this game. And I believe, I believe you more than ever right now. Come on, let's be clinical. Come because on, lads. Do I think it's possible that we'll concede three set pieces? Yes, Could but be. is it possible we'll score four goals ourselves? Maybe. Bad ball there from Brennan, unfortunately. Trying to find Sonny, but Suchek kicks it straight back to us and out of the out of the play. Come on, quick, Romero. That's yeah, Romero's it. giving it to Poro quickly. That's it. This is good from Spurs. Keeping up our tempo. This is what Ange always wants, and I love this about Ange. No sitting back, no nothing. Mad is doing well in the 10 now. Lovely position. Out to uh, Johnson. Ooh. Tries to get it across to Son, but doesn't quite make it. Poro retains possession as well. This is good from Spurs. Really good keeping pressure up. Into Basuma. Madders. West Ham now sat really deep. Madders. Out to Bentonco, I think, now on the right briefly. Into Basuma. Madders. Into Poro. And a chance for a cross here from Bentonco. Oh, and the keeper has punched it when I thought he should have caught it. But it's come out. Well, that's bizarre from Antonio there. And he's just kicked it off. Uh, you doggy's just done well to win the throw in. A lot of pressure here by Spurs. Yeah, Savage has said he thinks that's a foul from Antonio there, and I completely agree. The ball came in from Bentancur, whipped hard, and um, Fabianski ends up uh, punching it out. Probably the right decision on a wet day. I've actually done some shoots with Fabianski. He's a nice bloke. Yeah? Yeah, he's a decent bloke, yeah. Well done there from Basuma. That's it. Come on, Romero. Out to Mickey. Back to Romero. Back out to Mickey van der Ven. 
He's trying to look for a ball. What I love about Benton so far this game is he, so many times he's turned them that actually they're expecting him to turn him every Beautiful time. Look, lovely ball, ball from him. Into Beautiful. Oh. Sonny's tried the paradise ball early there. I didn't think that was the right ball. Anyway. But that ball just cut out the whole midfield. From Benton Yeah, from Benton Yeah, Beautiful. I was just trying to, like, he's really making West Ham second guess every time he's got the ball. They think he's going to turn or they think he's going to go back. And they're, he's pretty much, they're getting it wrong pretty much every time. He's playing beautifully so far, Bentico, as is Udogi. Basuma started really well as well. I think it's been a good performance so far from Spurs, other than obviously that corner. Come on, Sonny. Oh, ref. No, Sonny's got to hold it up there. This is this is exactly what lovely from Bentico. Oh. Kudas tried to take Bentakur on. He just gets his body in the way and, and forces Kudas to take him down. And now we've taken the free kick quickly already. Bentakur driving forward with it. Johnson and Poro out on the right. But of course, we haven't got anyone really in the box. Lovely ball. Bentakur, cut it back. Oh, oh Verdi, you got to be there. He gamble? Yeah, he didn't gamble. Oh, Lovely from gamble. Brennan Johnson. Got to the byline. Good cross <clears> across <throat> up front. It would, if it was the other way around, Johnson would have been there. He would have gambled. And you can see Werner, he's in the right place. You just got to gamble there. Yeah, you got to get across the front of his uh, defender. I think, and I think Ange is livid about it. Yeah, he is. He is livid because he knows he knows that Johnson's going to flush that ball in. So you know, you've got to be where the ball's going to come into. I kind of feel like, okay, Van der Ven's got a bouncing ball here, and this is a difficult one from Vicario. For Vicario, deals with it well, gets it to Romero nicely. Oh. Play it back, Romero. That's it. Eee. Just about. Okay. Just about. Well, well done, done. Poro helped him out. And now Van der Ven gets it out to Off Destiny. Off you go, you doggy. Comes inside. Nice. Nice idea, this. Go on, Sonny. Ah, Zuma lucky. does well, but that was a nice idea to see Good the ball. pace of Son against Zuma. And those are the balls that you are asking questions of the cent central defenders. Getting them to come out of position. It's what we need to do a bit more of. Getting them second-guessing themselves. Bentancur on the ball here in the middle. Just, just turns Paqueta nicely there. Oh, now he's maybe trying a bit much there. Yeah, I oh. thought he might have done. But Spurs have put lovely pressure on and we got the ball back straight away, which we've done brilliantly tonight. Newcastle 2-0 up against Everton now. Yeah, Glenn Hoddle's just said in co-commentary he thought Vicario looked very fragile. If, if there's only one tiny negative you could look at Vicario this season, it's that he's conceded a few of those. Yeah. A couple, at least, I'd yeah. say. City comes to mind. It's just that six-yard box, you know. I'm just expecting my keeper. If the ball's being flashed in anywhere in that six-yard box and it's in front of me... Well, Maddox played a lovely ball. ball into a doggy there, but Pakatar's done well that time and nicked it off a doggy. Oh, Ward Prowse made a little run there. I'll tell you what, Kufal, Sufal at the back is free. Uh, he's calling him, the commentator's calling him so foul. So basically I've got it wrong every which way. <laughs> okay, and Spurs have done well to push West Ham all the way back here. It's gone to Fabianski, who I guess is going to go for the slightly long one into so foul. Tries to get it through to Bowen, but Van der Ven gets there first. Of course he does. And you gives just it don't to worry. When Mickey's back there, you just don't worry about it. No, I've said ball. it before. The, the only player who's been like this at Spurs for me before was Dembele. Mm. Like whenever Dembele was in a one-on-one, -on -one, I just used to turn away. <laughs> like, what an absolute baller. And um, Van der Ven has a little bit of that vibe about him, just that mix of pace and absolute brute strength on the ball. Anyway, Romero in central midfield to Bissouma. Back to Romero. Come on, Tottenham. Let's liven up a little bit here. Come on, lads. <laughs> Got to start moving the ball a little bit quicker. Come on. One thing about Spurs that I think has been quite common this season is uh, when we get into good, dangerous areas, especially around like the 8-10 kind of attacking mm. midfield area, we try a paradise ball straight away when often we've got more time to pick a it's better true. ball. It's true. Maybe that's just a little bit of, of, of newness to the system still and naivety. That's something that I think we'll be looking to, to do better next season, if not before. Last ten, ten, last five minutes, ninety-one percent possession to Spurs. This is this is Moyes' ball, though. This is Moyes' ball. In a nutshell. Madison's One got switch the it. That's lovely it. switch out to Brennan Johnson. Now you can run at your fullback if you want there, but not. It's a bit late now. It's a good well, ball Sonny. into Sonny. Oh, oh. So he's got to make that stick there, Sonny. Yeah. Come on. Oh, goal disallowed at Newcastle. It's actually still only one nil. 
Sonny's got a little bruise on his face, bless him. He's been uh, fighting in the canteen again. Sonny has been involved in 242 goals for Spurs in 390 matches. That's phenomenal, isn't it? Unbelievable numbers. Fabianski kicks it up into midfield and West Ham just try and drop one over the top to Antonio, but far too much on it. And of course, the wet, skiddy surface today won't help with that either. Nice ball there from Van der Ven into Bentoncourt in central midfield. Bissouma's there as well. Needs help. Gives it back to Bentoncourt. Oh, nice oh. idea, but not quite. But West Ham give it away quickly. Can we get a transition here? Oh, no. And then lucky. Destiny gives it to Pakatar. That's a shame. And now Werner again. You've got to stay with so far there. Oh, oh, two fouls in there. Yeah. It's given the foul. Spurs have given away two fouls there. Looks like it's Romero on Bowen because the ref's having a word with Romero, which... It looked like a foul, to be honest. Yeah, this second one, definitely. Let's have a look here. Well, he's just trying to nick the ball. It's not a yellow card. It's not a yellow card, but it's a foul. It's anyway, a foul. another set-piece opportunity for West Ham here. Ward-Prowse will be whipping this towards I the back post. don't I would like thought. this at all. Oh, this is one of the positions. This is, this is a Suchek position. Yeah, this, this is about is. 32 yards out. Suchek at the back post. A little bit of court, a little bit of. Sh I would have thought it's too far to, it's too far to shoot. Don't you think? Yeah, it's a bit too far to shoot. I think he'll just stick it up towards the back stick, yeah. Here, and hope that you know, Suchek or one of the tall guys can get get on the end of it. Yeah, it's way too far out for a shot. So Spurs lining up their defensive line at about 16 yards out, 17 yards out. This is exactly what I've been talking about all week, as was their first goal. Ward Prowse all over this. The stadium goes quiet. Antonio and Mavropanos looking at the, oh, no, at the back. Or oh, Pakatar fa may fancy a shot as well. Tell you what, maybe Ward Prowse is going to shoot here, you know. Ah, sure he is. Not. He is. He's had a pop. And Vicario oh, wow. gets his hands to it and Werner should clear the second ball, and he I'm, does. I'm really shocked by that. Yeah, I'm actually pleased he did, to be honest. I think yeah, it's too Vic, far out. Yeah, and Vic had it covered. No, yeah. no, no worries. Oh, Savage has said the keeper should be catching, but it's a wet day, and that's why he's not. Yeah, no, that's a bit harsh, Chris. That's a cool, that should be a throw into Spurs. Bit harsh on Vic saying to catch that, but for the first goal, you do have to ask questions on why that ball is not getting dealt with. He's still got to save it. He does pretty well there. He, yeah, obviously, he you'd right be disappointed thing. if he missed it. Yeah. yeah, he did the right thing, just punching it out. Come on, big Vic. I love Vic. Oh, me too. He's He's... Fantastic keeper, he's done brilliantly. It's just about solving this, you know, six yard box corner question. Totally, totally. You'll figure it out. Anyway, got sure. the ball back again now. Van der Ven on the left. I assume this will come back to Romero, will it? Oh, Van der Ven. Don't lose Love it there, that. Mickey. Uh, lovely strength. Oh, Does well, beautiful. gets through to Destiny. Go on, you doggy. Put him in. Oh, oh no. I'll tell you. Oh, it's infuriating. I thought that was definitely our ball, wasn't it? It looked like it. Anyway, I thought he had a little chance there maybe to get Werner through, but he just couldn't get his leg there. But this is the thing, right? In our in in their fine in their third, when we're attacking, we seem to lack that final ball into the danger area. Yeah. And it's just worrying me a little bit because you know, since that first 20 minutes, we've kind of let oh, we've the let goal, them back in. We've let them back in and oh, for sure. Since then we haven't really created anything of note. No. It's just a little bit worrying. West Ham just won a, a call, um, throw in, sorry, on their right hand side, kind of up by the penalty area. So foul with it. Yeah, we've just let them back in. You're right. Mm. You're dead right. And it's dangerous. They're going for the long throw in here. Of course, they are. Moyes ball. Are they Burnley in disguise? Yeah, they've gone long throw. Basuma should... Oh, he gets a good head on that, actually, Basuma. Comes out toward Prowse. You've got to stop the cross here, Poro. You've got to stop the cross, and he hasn't. It's a terrible cross. We're lucky. But it's come all the way to Bowen. But that's where Spurs are poor. And it's a corner. It's come off Werner. <coughs> but that's where Spurs are, uh, are poor, stopping those cross, just letting the cross come in. Interesting that Bowen, who... who Got the in-swinger. They're basically going in-swinging from each side because you'd think Ward-Prowse would be on every corner, but Bowen's taking the ones to make them in-swing to Vicario. Good tactic. It's working. Of course it is. Look, Antonio's just going to block him. We know that. 
Big Vic, where are you? Oh. Destiny does well at the back. That just wasn't quite the perfect delivery that time. No, no attempt to stop the cross there. Van der Ven gets first ball on it. I feel like they're all over us. They here are a little bit. It's good pressure. Werner does it's well, but it's going to be another corner. Arbol, Arbol, Arbol. No, it's going to be another oh. corner. Another in swinger coming from Jared Bowen. This has been a good last few minutes for West Ham. Werner claims it's definitely a goal kick, but not given. And Bowen will whip in another one. I think the other thing about the keeper coming to claim one is it stops them from playing the same corner each time if the keeper comes to claim that anything that's in that area. He's asking Basuma to cover that. See, yeah, it's right on his head again. And it's he's got a hand on it, but he's been blocked the whole time. This is good, good strength for Mudogi here on the right. Lovely. Come on, Poro. Come on, Brennan. One more. Oh, lovely pace from Brennan Johnson through midfield. Yeah, he's going on his own. Oh, tell you what, it's Pakatar tracking back there. You wouldn't oh. expect that. Go on, Werner. Oh, oh Timo could have been a bit braver there. there. Yeah. Come on. But anyway, I like that from Brennan Johnson. Really like that transitional run. He just had no out ball. No one helping Basum him. No, ref. Nick, they had the, got the ball. Sorry, that's a foul against Bissouma. Pakatar bang up for this one. Which is a shame. Forty minutes gone, one all. Proper London derby this now, as you'd expect. I'm surprised we haven't seen a card yet. Yeah, I don't think there's been anything. Bang! They've gone for the big diag. Vern has got caught underneath it. Bowen takes it easily. That's a bit easy for me. That I'm not suggesting that's Werner's game, but just get closer to the man. Good ball from Pakatar out because Johnson's got to go with the other man oh. or go to the ball, Johnson. Go well done. Okay, Par is there. You got to go with the runner. Here we go. They're going to try and get the early cross in, and it's another corner to oh West Ham. They just know. They know to get in these. If they get in these areas and keep getting set pieces, we're going to be under constant pressure. They're not even trying to score. They're just trying to get the corners. Yeah, well, wouldn't you? <laughs> Ward Prowse here coming over to take it. Yeah, the big in swing is going to drop on Vicario's head again. Why do they not put a man on Antonio to block him so that then Vicario can come and try and get it? It's this zonal stuff, isn't it? It's well, it's, it's, all about. it's been proven that it's not working. Why, why are we letting Antonio just mark Vicario out of it? Zuma's ahead of him as well. This is absolute madness. It doesn't make sense. Here it comes. There's a lot of height on it. Destiny again does well, and that's a foul on Madison. And the ref's not given it. Oh, fucking hell. Honestly. Oh, and another big cross has come in. Poro gets on it. Good clearance. Someone get on Kudas Stick there. Stick on it, Poro. Stand up. Well done. Brilliant well from done. Rodrigo Benton. Well done. Benton Kuhn made it. Made a really good prediction that the ball was going to go into that player, and he just ran at him and got a little a nick got on ahead it. of him. Yeah, massive he got ahead of him and bought the free kick for us, which really helps us yeah. relieve some of this pressure because it's been all West Ham in the last yeah. eight minutes. Beautiful stuff from Benzker, and that's a bad foul from Paqueta on Matters. That's his second in a row. Surely a booking. Ref's trying to keep this calm, isn't he? If that's not a booking, I don't know what is. Look at that. He's gone into him full force. Yeah, Maddis saw him coming, I think. But not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You've gone into him full force off the ball. Yeah. That's a booking. Any day of the week. Yeah. Pakatar's really in, really buzzing about this. Yeah, Maddis. Maddis is not having it. Yeah, do your... Yeah, do Maddis now telling the ref to fuck off. Yeah, and do your... Do oh, your and Spurs have lost the ball in midfield while Maddis isn't watching. But luckily, we've got a little touch on it and Basuma's able to get it back to Vicario. I hope Maddis lets his feet do the talking. Come I do, on. but I also think he plays a little better when he's on the edge, so... He does, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Basuma like, now. Lovely ball drama. from Basuma. Come on, Maddis. Into Maddis. Oh, oof, he got lucky there. I thought he got hacked off the ball again, but I think Pakatar's he, gone down. I think he just kicked Pakatar with the follow Brennan Johnson there. driving. Driving again. Finish. Oh. oh. Tell you what, he didn't do either. Or he, he lays that across the box and it does okay. But if he cut there. it back, he could have cut it back, don't you think? Or he shot, yeah. He could have cut it back or shot. I yeah. Was... Anyway, we're in good position again. There's no one in the box, though. Who's there, lads? Come on. Yeah. It's very rare that we have no one in the box, to be honest. Lovely. That's it. Oh. Look at Van der Ven here. Go on, try and take him on. <laughs> no chance. And he's. Oh, oh I thought he was going to. Oh, he might get booked for that. He might get booked for that. 
Oh, come off it. Oh, Can you believe you... after everything, the first He's booking goes to Van Event for, for that. throwing the oh, ball away? Oh, that. This referee. Come on. It's completely mad that you spend the whole game being like, oh, I'm going to take this calm. And then when he touches the ball back five yards away, he gives the first booking. I think maybe it's the way he did it with his arm, but this is ridiculous. Never. <laughs> anyway, you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to be booked. I hope that doesn't come back to haunt us the second half. Oh. 44 minutes gone. Hope you get... Oh, no, loads of space for Matters on, here Matters. on the transition. Great ball. Gets out to Werner. Go on, Werner. Take him on. Go on. Yeah, before Bowen gets there, Timo. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, he's done all right. He needs help now. And he finds it from Destiny. Well Does well. Done. Well done, Destiny. Of course, David Moyes felt that was a foul from Romero, but it wasn't. And actually, Romero's been dealing with Antonio really well. Not letting him kind of chest it and get control of it. Bit quicker. Come on, Rodrigo. Let's move it a bit quicker. Nice That's ball into it. Son, but you can't lose it, Sonny. That's nice stuff right. for Madders. Out to the wing. Well, Sonny fancied a shot there, but instead he's played a bad ball and Spurs, West Ham got it back, but they clear it I long. I thought he was looking for Johnson there on the wing, Sonny. Oh, well, you can't lose it there, Biss. Well it does done. well. Well done. Well done, Pacatar diving on the floor so much. Come on, quickly, Rodrigo. Two minutes added only. Matters with lovely ball out to ball. Johnson and Poirot makes him a lovely, lovely run. Now get someone in the box. It's a corner to Spurs. Come on, Tottenham. Good. 45 minutes gone, two minutes ad added. Can we really turn the tables and score our first fucking corner for a long time? Come on, please. Romero, one of you. Mickey, come on. Yeah. You're not big and strong, Mickey. Come on, get your head on this. Come on, good delivery here. Also, got to say, we've got to be careful in, if they clear it first, not to get done on the transition here as well. Got to be very careful. It's bad, mad. That I don't think Sonny... Sonny sh it's not going to win a header from a corner. I think he should be on the keeper, if anything. But anyway, outswinger from Poro. Bad delivery. Straight onto the first man, and they clear it. Throw in. Okay, to Johnson. A lot of space in here for Madders. Plays it into Bentecourt. Nice stuff. Win a, win a penalty or something. Oh. Right, it's another corner to Spurs, for sure. It's got to be. Yeah. One more corner here before the half's up. Got 30 seconds to go. Madders. Madders taking this one, not Poro. Come on, James. Just don't have as many threats, do we? From set pieces. Madders with the outswinger. It's a better delivery. Oh, I'll oh, oh, tell you what, Mickey it comes off there. Van der Ven in the end, but it goes to Benton Kerr and we still got it. Madders trying to get another corner in. It's going to be another cross in, sorry. It's going to be another corner. Okay, 20 seconds left. Come on, boys. One more. Come on, lads. If you look at it, really, Werner and Sonny are too small for this. They've got a crowd around the keeper, I think. I mean, I'd have Udogi in there. I guess he's on the centre circle for any um, I'd stick breakaway. Him, I'd stick him in there. Yeah. Stick him in there and put, you know, one of the smaller players, Poro, out there. And I'd have Benton could probably a bit close to the penalty spot. But anyway, here comes another outswinger from Madders. It's another better one. Oh, nearly came. Basuma oh, on the edge. Oh, and he's passed it. Oh, oh Bentico has a shot oh, and it goes lucky. just wide and that's half time. West Ham United won, Tottenham Hotspur won. I'd call it a classic London derby at the moment. Spurs had the best of the first 20 minutes by far. Got a goal up with a beautiful goal. Brennan Johnson coming across from the back stick as set up by Timo Werner. But then we gave away one too many corners. West Ham blocking uh, Vicario. And that's how Zuma got the equaliser after 19 minutes amir how are you feeling overall overall i'm i'm not too disappointed it's just you know we saw it before the set piece we, we're saying this is our weakness and we just let it get to us every time and that's the only way into this match was through that set piece mm. and it just it frustrates me that we can't do sometimes the basics of football you know, properly, because if we do, we're going in there one one nil ahead and, and we're sitting pretty. Now we've got to worry about the second half. How are we going to get that lead back and how are we going to come home with the three points? So I just for all the good work that we've done going forward, the wingers playing well, Madison and Bentancourt getting on the ball. I'm just a little bit frustrated with with the way we're going about things, to, you know, defense wise. And, yeah. And, and especially on set pieces. No, I, comple I, I completely agree, Amir. And for me, it's like um, 
can I see us when the game gets really properly stretched but from 60 to 70 minutes onwards? Can I see us making chance after chance? Absolutely. But can I potentially see us conceding two more goals from set pieces? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Definitely. Um, and, that's, and that's even before you mentioned the possibility of them getting some good chances on the transition. Uh, and obviously the worry because uh, Mickey van der Ven got yellow carded for uh, oh, throwing the ball away, which which really is a shame because van der Ven has absolutely bossed Bowen and Kudas, anyone he's been up against. Romero as well has yeah. been brilliant up against Antonio, you know, battling him, fighting him. And we really haven't given them a sniff in open play when I come to think of it. No. The only chances that have arisen for West Ham are coming from set pieces. And, you know, it, it, it's just a worry because it's something that we've seen game after game after game you're thinking surely there must be something done you know can yeah. we tweak it can we put an extra player there that, to give Vicario a bit more defense can we tell Big Vic you know tactically don't worry about the defenders push them out of the way and get to that ball first yeah um, I'm not too sure but what, what happens is Antonio in this instance but you know it's happened a few times this season they push him they they back yeah. into him yeah. so there's no penalty is going to get given against him if they if he just plows everybody no. out the way no that's just the reality He's of well it within his right to do just that push them. All, a lot of other keepers do it but anyway I'm not going to get stuck on the negatives because I actually think Rodrigo Bensko has had his best game for Spurs of the fantastic. season by miles he's looked back to somewhere near his best I think definitely yeah Rodrigo's been bossing that midfield um, um, and you know his forward balls in that, to that forward line they've been really really good they've been cutting out the midfield it, the problem is that one ball after that ball hmm. so it's it's the ball going into the wingers and Sonny that were kind of lacking just that final ball that final piece to the puzzle that if we can get it right in that second half then we're going to be creating a lot more chances and you know you can expect us to be peppering their goal uh, I'm just hoping that Rodrigo can get on the ball like he did in the first half and maybe you know if we do need a little change along that front three mm. we've always got Richarlison there we've yeah. got Kulu there we've got Lo Celso there so there's a lot of firepower yeah if need be I feel like um in that first 20 minutes especially we were we were getting in time after time down the left and Werner was really calling it causing so far a lot of trouble mm -hmm. I think Maybe after that equaliser, Moyes maybe grabbed hold of a couple of them and was just like, give uh, so far more help. Because Bowen was tracking back a lot more. Um, but, you know, you have to give credit. Werner did well to get to the byline. And Johnson did brilliantly to get across his man. Something that then, unfortunately, didn't happen the other way around, where later on in the half, Johnson did really well. We got in well round the back. And Werner was just ball. on his heels, wasn't he? Was he was on his heels, yeah. Johnson put in a fantastic ball, flashed it across the front. And if Werner had just gambled, you know, he's probably sticking his head on the end of that. So we're just hoping that a few of the a few of the things that we were doing well, we just need to do a little bit better in that second half. We need to be a little bit more clinical in that final third, the final ball, and then hopefully we can uh, we can just get ahead again because I feel like this game is there for us to win. Yeah. In all honesty, you know, West Ham, they're not creating much from from normal play. The biggest threat is set pieces. If we can stop them from getting that many set pieces and if we can apply the pressure, there's no reason we shouldn't come home with three points. You can completely see why West Ham fans dislike the style of football they play because it's like Conte ball, but almost it's like Conte ball, but without as much stuff on, at least with Conte ball, sometimes we got on the ball and they would at least have th the three at the back that they play the ball across to each other. West Ham are just lugging it long. And as a result, most of the half, we've just been able to kind of continually keep pressure on them. Something that actually I've complained about a bit earlier in the season with Spurs when we had a lot of our injuries. We weren't able to sustain mm. pressure. Mm. But I'd say probably for half an hour, 35 minutes of that half, every time we were in their final third, they would clear it long and then we would be back at them again. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's it's... It's a mystery to me, really, because actually, when you look at the players they've got, you know, the likes of Paqueta, Kudus, these are fantastic players that, you know, can play yeah, football. Yeah. So why would you be playing this brand of football? I'm not too sure. I can hear the West Ham fans' frustrations when it comes down to Moyes' ball, but we've seen it be so effective. Oh, right? yeah. You can still see you them know, winning this game somehow. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, you know, it, the proof's in the pudding. They did win, you know, although we laugh at the Conference League and stuff like that. I mean, it's still a European trophy. Of course right? it is. No, I'm not you laughing know? at it. Yeah, I mean... I mean, compared to the Champions League, I'm laughing at it, but... Yeah, but it's still, a, it's still a big trophy, you know. If we had won a Cup Winners' Cup back in the day, everyone would be delighted with of that. Of course, so, of course. You know. Okay, let's go into the comments. Um... 
Let's go, El Cid 2022. Finally, Kulu is on the bench and, the scored, and they scored a goal in the first half. In past six out of seven games, we had no goal in the first half when Kulu started and cut back, which mm. ruined the whole offensive vibe. But one thing I would say is, if, you know, say we go a goal down or he wants to change things up while we're still drawing second half after 70 minutes, what can potentially now happen is he can bring Kulu on and Richarlison on and then we can put some crosses in the box. Because mm. those, mm. in a game like this, when it's really wet, if Kulu can get in some of those positions on the right, cut back on his left and whip those it's balls towards the far post, that's a, that's a, a threat. huge threat. It's a huge threat. It's a huge threat. And I, I don't know if it, this match has got so much to do with Kulu being benched. Um, I, I think he's, you know, he's a good player to bring off the bench and he he definitely, you know, will give us an aerial threat as well, which we're lacking a bit. You know, when you see those corners come in, you're seeing Sonny there, you know, you'd rather someone with the size of Kulu and, you know, his aerial ability yeah. than someone like Sonny. Um, but then I think Johnson has played well. Like he, he certainly um, he made a beautiful run about sixty yards on a transition, which was the most one of the most confident things I've seen him do at Spurs this season. Actually, he really drove straight down the middle, didn't kind of take the easy option. And sure, at the end of it, he, he lost the ball, but that was really positive to see. I think. Oh, it was, it was, and I'm not saying take Johnson off. I'd keep right. Johnson on. I would potentially either take Madders or or Werner off and and just do a bit of a switch around there in the front three. Well, that actually sticks uh, a, or kind of. Um, Similar to what Alan Valerie is saying. Lo Celso for Madison. At least Gio is a fighter. Yeah. Hoybo for Basuma, who's going through the motions. I personally don't agree with that. I, I think, think Madison and Basuma are playing pretty well. I think Basuma's done better for me than Madison. Mm -hmm. For me, Madison's done all right and he's picking up the ball in, in dangerous areas. But from what I've come to expect from James Madison, I'm expecting a key assist. I'm expecting, you know, a breakthrough. I'm expecting shots from outside the box. I haven't quite seen that in this game, right? So f because he's so good, yeah. I'm expecting him to hit those heights game in, week in, week out. It's the same with Sonny. For me, Sonny hasn't had a great game today because no. he hasn't, you know, produced anything of note. If he does, of course, we're going to be, you know, singing his praises. It's just when you have those top quality players there, you expect the best from them. And I would like to see James just take that game to the next level and really look for those assists, try and get on the score sheet himself and really affect the game because I know he has that ability to, to do it. Totally. And, and I still wonder whether he's still just trying to get back to his best after that injury. Carabao yeah, Maffa says, we are creating opportunities but failing with the last pass. That's something we've been talking about quite yes. a lot and something that I've been discussing this season a lot. It's frustrating. It, it, when you say failing, what I would kind of describe it as more, and thank you for your comment, obviously, is um, just maybe trying to do something a little more difficult than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe just taking a beat on that when when they get in that be those beautiful positions that they have done a lot tonight in that kind of 10 position and then just looking up and seeing whether... Is that kind of threaded through ball through a tiny gap the right percentage play? Or would it be better actually to get it out wide and get another one across the yeah, front? Yeah, and sometimes just hold on to the ball for a little bit. Allow for the play to progress. Allow your runners to get into positions yeah. of, of threat. Yeah. So and, and also, actually, one thing that we don't see a lot for Spurs, Madders used to take so many shots from outside the box he for did, Leicester. He did. And quite often when he gets the ball in that 10 position, say 25, 30 yards out, he's trying to play a paradise ball where actually if he takes a touch on it, then he can have a, have a dig, especially on a wet night like tonight. I want to see him shoot from, from outside the box more. I know he's capable. I know he's got a, a great shot on him, great technique. Use it. You know, sometimes even, like you said, on a wet night like tonight, it might be a terrible shot, but the keeper might just have to parry it because it's so wet. Exactly. Comes back out, Richie's there, exactly. Johnson's and, there, Vernon's and we owe there. we owe them a, a, a goal from a, a parry or something. We owe them, yeah, we owe them a few of those. Parry Raider goals. two seven five with a controversial one, I think. I'd bring Dragushin in on in the second half. We will need his physical presence in the box when West Ham gets set pieces. Now, I don't it's think that's I don't think it's a bad shout in terms of the defensive aspect. But you're not taking Mickey Van Der Ven or Romero off, no. so that no, would involve no, no, no. going three at the back, which for me I think would give up where our greatest strength in this game so far has been which is that we are overloading them in the midfield, midfield yeah. we've got yeah. so much time on the, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked at how much time we've got on the midfield but then I guess your argument Raider 275 might be that are we doing enough with all of that time and space in the midfield I think I think that's what you're saying we're not we're not we've got all the time on the ball in that midfield and we're seeing Bentancur and Madders get on the ball but there's a breakdown in between that midfield and then the front three there's something that's not quite click in there which is why I can see the the guy that said put La Celso on I can see what he's saying because La Celso does he works that magic mm. and those quick balls that you need to just play one or two touch 
He's great at keeping the ball moving. Yeah. So that might be a good a good shout for the second half. Although I don't think Ange will make any changes. Um, he might wait till around the 60th, 60th, 5th minute to, to make his first Yeah, I think change. he will. Bit of an interesting one from Frank Rourke here. Why would you spend £50 million on a player that doesn't really contribute? Werner, he, I mean, he set up our goal tonight, so it seems like a bit of a weird time to, but wait, to say that. But wait, it's 15, right? Not 50. 1-5, yeah. yeah That's one what five. he said. Oh, yeah. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I disagree with that. I, I, you know, as I've said on the show already, Vern I think 15 million for. I think he's very effective, especially in terms of getting to the byline, and you know, also as the game gets stretched, you'd imagine he'll get a bit more space as well. But anyway, I know there are a lot of people mm. in the Spurs kind of or a corner of the Spurs fan base who who are kind of living on dying on whether we're going to make this signing or not. But uh, for me, it's not. It's not. It's not as bad as some people think. Neil Daniels, thank you for writing in. He's a member. I can see us getting plenty of chance. Hopefully, we put them away. Sonny's going to step up. Yeah, I think. Come on, I think the thing with Sonny, he's not been great. He's not been in the game much. But no. is there anyone else you'd want a chance to fall to? Do you know what I mean? That that that's the reality of it. You keep him on the pitch because when the, the chances quality, come and the quality, you know, the, the the quality that that guy possesses, he he has it in him to just breeze past a couple of players and just put it in top bins. So when you have that ability, you just yeah, you've got to yeah. get the ball into him more. Jerry, thank you for your comment. He says Pedro Porro should have shot that one chance. Well, he had oh. a he had a good shot, didn't he? And oh. it just whistled past the yeah. But there was the another right one when he was as well. He was he, and and he decided to just cut it back or lay oh, it off. Oh yeah, to I think I thought that was Johnson, but actually he, it was Pedro Porro, yeah, was it? Yeah, he yeah, should have whipped his, his leg just, around it. And I think we do that a lot in games. You know, I've, I can remember sitting here with you, Barnaby, as well in the first half of games, and we're just sat there like. We've had one shot all, all the whole half. Why, why are we not shooting? Why are we not utilising our abilities? And, you know, we've got some players there that can really, really let fly. Yeah. James Madison, Rodrigo Bentancur as well has got a rocket of a shot yeah. on him as well. Yeah, you know, so totally agree. Just let fly. And, you know, sometimes things happen. You let fly, they get a block, the ball bounces here, rebounds over there, and it can fall to someone and you can end up putting it in the back of the net. So, Exactly. I, I think we do more. I agree. Way. I think overall, I think Spurs have played really well. Again, for me, it's another example of let's remember what playing these games was like under Conte. Sometimes it was absolutely unpalatable, like oh. defensive team against defensive team. And, um, you know, do I think there's a high chance we'll end up losing this game? I do. But I know that we're on the right track. It's it's lovely to see. And if if I'm a Spurs fan compared to a West Ham fan, I, I'm I'm way happy at the moment. Guys, mm. don't forget that after this uh, live watch along, we will be doing a instant 10 minute or so, 15 minute reaction game, and then there will be a fan call in show where you can speak to myself and Amir. All the details will be in the chat and the description box. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there. We'll be here for an hour or so after talking to you guys. And let's hope that when we do, we will be talking about three points being taken home from East London. From the Westfield Shopping Centre Stadium all the way back yes. to the Tottenham Hotspur Come Stadium. On. We've been playing well. We just need to uh, make a few more chances and make it happen. And be clinical. Come on, Spurs. And be clinical Come when on. it happens. Just a few more minutes till the second half will start. Uh, so Neil Daniels again says we're not confident in defence, in my opinion. Well, I, I'd only say that when it comes to um, set, pieces. set pieces. Yeah, yeah it's only set pieces. In open play, I feel fine. Mickey van der Ven is cleaning up everything. Antonio can't get a tune out <laughs> of uh, Romero. Yeah, They don't look a threat. It's only when they start getting corners and free kicks around our box. My head, literally, it goes like this. My head in hands. I'm like, yeah. oh, no. And even the goal that they scored, I, I said, I think, beforehand, oh, no. You know, th this is oh, this yeah. is where it's going to come Inevitable. from. And it is. And it's that's the frustrating thing. When you do the fundamentals right in football, there's no way that an attacking player should be winning a header in your six yard box. I completely corner. I completely agree. The the players are back out on the pitch. Doesn't seem to be any changes no straight changes. away. Sammy, could I get some water in this bottle, please? Yeah, let me just Thank you, mate. The... And um yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's been a good game. One thing I would say is if Spurs could get the next goal, yeah. Then the amount of running West Ham have had to do, the, they'll be they'll much be more knackered. fatigued than they'll us. Be knackered. And they've just come back from St. James's Park as well. They'll be knackered. So hopefully, that's the thing. It's almost like stay in this game. Don't give away an early got an early one in this half. Let's see what happens. Second half kicks off. Come West on, Ham kicking off and get a big long ball up to Suchek, who shoulders it on. Poro clears. A lot of West Ham fans still in the bar. 
but West Ham get the ball down in central midfield. Back to Mavropanos, who's going to play a little ball out wide to Bowen, who takes a nice touch, but Destiny does well, and he gets oh, fouled well beautifully. Done. What is he getting angry about there, Jared Because he's frustrated with himself, I think. Yeah, it should be. Silly foul. Oh, it stopped raining as well, and I know that because David Moyes has taken his cap off. It's, uh, For him, this is this is lovely weather. He's from Scotland. Of course, it is. Mean? This is this is great. <laughs> I heard something bonkers today. I saw a, um, I saw a, an interview with Jurgen Klopp where he said he is the second oldest manager in the league behind Moyes. I would have thought Ange was older than Klopp, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have thought. But he's so. not. Oh, wow. oh, Klopp was saying that he's not. Wow. Yeah, totally shocked. Thank you. Well, Sam no wonder he needs a break, Kloppy. You know what I mean. And I don't blame him. Oh, terrible ball in central midfield there from Destiny, unfortunately. And West Ham have got it back, but got, we got ourselves back in shape. Johnson pressing Emerson. Go on, Sonny. Hunt him down. Sonny pressing on, Zuma. Sonny. Shame we let yeah, the uh, cat-hating Kurt Zuma score against us, to be honest. Oh, it really pisses me off, that. Good stuff. Basuma on the ball now. Nice little run from Basuma and a terrible pass. I don't know what he's going for he's there. He's got to do better. But this is good pressing by Tottenham. Look, yeah. we're surrounding them. We're hounding them. Then there's nowhere to go there. Look, we've won it back. Come on. Oh, you've got to do better than that. Stand up. He didn't foul you. Well done, Johnson. Come oh, on. And that's good. Werner then. Oh, Werner put Fabianski under pressure and he played a little bit of a neither nor ball out to Sufa, but just got away with it. And again, the tempo of this game back up straight where it was. And Bowen's down the right. And Sufa's kept his run oh. going, but Romero's seen him. And Ooh. Romero ends up getting rid of it. And actually, that's he's out of position now. Oh, Basuma does lovely there, beautifully there, sorry. That's good play. Yeah, really nice. Oh, oh wow, no, Bentancur. Bentancur. Oh, shit. Good save from Vicario. It came oh, to Antonio. Took a shot with his left foot. Oh, Bentancur's had his best game of the season so far, but nearly got absolutely punished there. Early ball in. Destiny Doggy at the back post flicks it off. It's a corner to West Ham. Talk about shooting yourself in the foot there, Rodrigo. Oh, on the edge of our box. So what Bentancur's oh. done there, back in the day, because I'm old, you were specifically told you do not cross your own goal with a pass. You would get the biggest rollicking. The biggest rollicking. If this, so that. they're lining up the corner. I think Vicario's just got to be muscling Antonio out the way here. He's not even trying. OK, there he does he eventually. Now. But Zuma's gone in front of him, and he's totally Six blocked. Six-yard box again! He's totally blocked off. No, it's offside. But that's again, it's the copycat of the first But why goal. is he letting it fucking happen? I don't happen? understand. I don't understand. So he's made, in the end, he's made a good save. Oh, but look, my look, days. Look. And Six-yard box. Uh, he's, he saved it on the line. And then Antonio's been given offside for that. Okay. Oh. But look, they know, it's, it's actually, I'm sorry to say, it's actually embarrassing. It it's really embarrassing for, to know that other teams know how easy it is. It's like our Achilles heel, you know, just go for, go for the six yard box corners. Just and stick it, and it on Vicario. But it, but it brings their fans in, the fans are all pumped because they know every time they get a corner, they're going to make a chance. It's terrible got to do something about it anyway we're back on the ball and a good ball into midfield but sonny can't hold it up unfortunately oh, come on sonny don't foul him destiny well done matters win that come on come on spurs come on johnson everton's equalized at st james's park 88th minute calvert lewin that's his first goal for time that's a good result for everton the drop-off's been huge, really. For oh, Newcastle. Romero's just been pushed off the ball by Antonio, and Ward-Prowse has a chance to get it out to Bowen. And West Ham have players forward here. And Sufal's with him as well. He's going to try and shoot, is he? Pakatar now. And he's going to shoot. And it's wide. I was getting Lanzini flashbacks there. Oh, my <sighs> days. I thought that was going in. He turns Bentoncourt well. It's so yes. close. It's not as close as I thought in the end, but it is no? still close. Yeah, it's still close, but I thought it was going Oof. in. Yeah, it's a great effort. Well, it's not great if it's too easy, but West Ham have started well here. Bloody we're not we're not hell. controlling the game at this period. We've kind of... But is there a chance that we'll actually be more dangerous when we call them on a bit? Poro's in space here down the right. Oh, it's a poor ball, Pedro. Come on. Sonny just ran Find past him. Find your man. Him. 
but not controlling it as much as we were first half. And we're really giving West Ham confidence here. Antonio, now don't foul him. He will go down easily. He loves to. And he's fouled him. Romero. Now a chance for Ward-Prowse to whip it into Another the box. Another set piece. It's just naive. The reason I say don't foul him is because that's what they want. It's what they want. It's absolutely naive. So Ward-Prowse has a free kick on the left-hand side, probably about 40 yards out. Chance to whip it in, in swinging towards our penalty box. They've stuck all their tall players right at the back stick. Spurs keeping their line about 21 why yards out. Ped, why is Johnson... Okay, there's a lot on that. Hopefully it goes all the way out. Oh. Yeah, it does. We got lucky. We got lucky. It was a poor delivery. Yeah. 50 minutes gone. It's not been the best start from Spurs, but I still think when we're on the ball, so let's keep on the ball and keep control of it. Nice ball from uh, Romero out to a doggy. He's got so much time just to drive forward. That's Madders. what the half press gives you, you know? It gives you that time. It's just we've got to utilise it. Lovely from Bissouma out to Madders, who, lo who finds Sonny, who's Sonny. got men around him, but holds it up nicely. Comes back to Bissouma, who gives it to Bentoncourt, who lays it outside now to Brennan Johnson. Does well. He's got a run there from Sonny. Doesn't find him. A chance for... James! Oh! oh. Chance... Oh, shame that didn't fall for Sonny's feet. But that was good stuff from Spurs there, getting into the box. But those are the positions Don't I want to foul see James him. Madison in, on the edge oh, of the box. And t oh, tell you what, go on, give it red. Be red. I hope yeah. this is high. Yellow. But they've given away a free kick on Benton Kerr. It's Antonio. Crowd think it's not. Moyes doesn't like it. I'm hoping it's one of these ones where it's higher than it looks. Yeah, it's not high. It's a yellow. It's a yellow. It's just one of those ones where he doesn't know he's coming. Yeah. Okay. His foot's a little bit high, but it's he hasn't, you know, gone in with an intention to hurt. Antonio always plays his best games against Spurs. <laughs> like that's how it feels anyway. He's a very tricky striker to play against, you know, that of course physicality. He is. Benton Kerr looks like he's in a bit of pain, but hopefully just a little bit of impact. Or oh, is it on his bad toe already, I wonder? Do you know what? We've got lots of... Oh, lovely things. ball into Poro. Okay, it comes back One to Benton more. Kurt. That's Out it. to Johnson. Come on, Johnson. Go on, drive Good at ball. him. Good ball. What, what a ball. Oh! He should be scoring, Sonny. Oh, it's a fantastic Sonny made a great ball. run to the front post. Comes out to Werner now. Bloody hell. Finds Destiny, who finds Madders. It's a great ball in by Johnson. Really was. He's a great deliver deliverer of a football, which, of course, is something that... People don't realise how difficult that can be. Lovely ball into Poro. Oh, bang. Chance here. Oh. oh. Bissouma, you've got to be strong here, Biss. Got to be strong. Well got to done. be strong and quick. Well, well done, done Bissouma. Well come on. Now, don't give it away. Just give it easy. You've done the hard Good bit. Ball. Give it Good easy. Ball. Who wants it? Just... Who wants it? Okay, gets it out to Johnson. Oh. oh. Fucking Bissouma! Honestly. Literally did the hard work and then plays a shit ball and now he's pretending to be injured because he's angry at himself. The reason I shouted it at him is because I know that tap, he does it so much is where he, it's when it's easy for him, it's when he's like yeah. instinctive, when it's instinctive, he's so good, but then he's got time and he makes the wrong decision. It's infuriating. He's not fat, he's not injured there. He's, he's literally pretending. Uh, Madison had a good chance with his left foot. He just didn't look confident on his left foot, did he? And ends up getting blocked from so far. It's a great block, though. At least he's shooting. Yeah, true. Sonny pressing the centre-halves here. Oof. So far now on the ball. Willing runner always so far, isn't he? Well done, Benton Kerr. Go down if you have to. Oh, hello. It's done well. Come on. Go on, Madders. One more. Yeah, find Sonny. That's Good. it. That was, that was right. He waited. And out to Brennan Johnson, who can drive on it. It's full back. Ah, oh, just a own. bad touch, unfortunately. Go back here, Brennan. Yeah, That's does beautifully it. with a back heel to Poro. Madders trying to do a bit of magic here. Lovely ball to Poro. Lovely football from Spurs. Oh, oh. Sonny can't hold it up. Bissouma! Oh. Wide. But this is better. This is a lot better by Tottenham. We're starting to play our way into this second half. 
playing some intricate stuff in central in 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 their box. Sorry. Match finished, one all Newcastle, Everton. It's a good result for Everton, you'd have to say. He's trying to place that when maybe you should be going for this I think it, Yeah, he could have put some laces through it. It was yeah. a little bit, could have got it on the half bounce. It's not really his thing, though, is it? Basuma scoring from outside the box. Stand. Well done, Timo. Works hard there. He's not in this game at the moment, Timo. He was in the no. game the first 20 minutes. He's really not in it at the moment. Just wondering if he's thinking about subs now, Ange. I'm sure he will be. Yeah, Savage talking about the intensity and I agree it's full of intensity and desire and tempo this game. It's a good one. I'd be enjoying it if I was a neutral. Spurs pushing West Ham to go back to Fabianski again and Sonny pressing him hard and he goes long. It's a good ball out wide, straight to Bowen. Now this is a, a foot race, Bowen against Destiny. Don't foul him. Destiny stands up well. Try, looks like he was going to foul him, but Bowen's done beautifully. Oh, and a good block there. But Pakatar with another chance to shoot, and it's miles over. That was that was a bit unlikely there. Left Doggy foot. did well there against uh, Bowen. Really well. That was a, that was a battle of two excellent players. He'll learn a lot of playing someone of the likes of Jared Bowen. Yeah. That low centre of gravity just means he can he can slink away from him. Most defenders there he's beating, but Doggy did really well at that Spurs back on the ball Bentancur central midfield finds Madders who finds Porro go on Pedro Porro back to Madders Basuma showing for him Bentancur now West Ham as ever in their 10 men behind the ball block Porro Bentoncourt, Spurs getting a little bit of control here, which I guess you would expect. West Ham will be looking to hit us on the break and try and win some more corners. Bentoncourt now. Bentoncourt being brave. Nice ball out to John uh, Porro. Oh, oh, tries to cut it back, but doesn't quite happen. And West Ham hit it out and it comes see, straight to Romero. When West Ham are in their defensive formation, it's so hard to get in behind them. Of course it is. It's the same so as it was difficult. when we were playing Brentford or Palace yep. or any of these yep. players. Yep. Bissouma now getting in some good shape. Come on, James. Good areas. Good Madison oh. tries to find Bentacur, but it flicks off a West Ham player for a Spurs throne. I think Madison's been a little bit more influential in this second half so far. He has. Listen, it, games like this are always going to be hard for players like Madison because where he plays is just packed with West Ham players. Indeed. Lovely turn for Madison now. Oh, 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 unlucky Madders. He got wide there and tries to cut it back, but you've got to say... Mavropanos, I think it was, did well. Oh, they're defending very resolutely here. Yeah, are, are and once numbers. again, Spurs win it back quickly. Come on, Tottenham. Come on. Come on, you Spurs. Basuma trying a ball there, which isn't really his game, but it gets to Johnson. Bad touch, Poor unfortunately. Touch. I don't think that was a good ball from Basuma. I know Johnson should have taken it down, but I don't think that's a percentage ball. But anyway. 58 minutes gone. West Ham won. Spurs won at the London Stadium. Stressful game, as you'd expect. What would be your subs now? Who would you stick on? Nothing at the moment, actually. No? No, not yet. See, I, I feel like we need Richie's uh, aerial presence in there. I, I'd take off Werner at the moment, who's out the game. Maybe. Stick Sonny on the left and stick Richie or you could up top. Or you could stick Johnson on the left, uh, Decky on the right. Oh, no, you're bringing Richie on. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Richie. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think as the game gets longer, we're going to want to keep pace on the pitch, but who knows? Spur, two Spurs players went for the same ball in midfield there. Destiny has covered them because it went to Bowen, towards Bowen, and then Destiny got there first, thankfully. Can you get a touch there, Timo? Does well. Put Sonny in. Oh, Sonny. I think oh, Zuma's going to deal with that, unfortunately. It just easy. bounced in the wrong place. Win that. Zuma did one. Zuma's gone for the return here and plays a nice ball outside of Van der Ven. Don't foul him, Mickey. Yeah. Oh, Mi not even <laughs> worried. You don't even worry, Barnaby. I don't know why you get worried. <laughs> it's Good turn for Madison in midfield. Absolutely takes Suchek out go the game. On, on you go. On you go, Find James. Timo. Find Timo. Oh, he's gone the other way. Sonny. Oh, Brennan now. Chance oh, it doesn't quite fall where Sonny wants it. Chance for Madison. He's going to get fouled. Ref. And the ref hasn't given ref. it. Ref. Are you? I don't know what he's watching. And now Antonio is free. Surely Van der Ven's going to get there. Of course he is. Oh, no, he falls over Van der Ven. And then, and, and then Vicario saves it. There were two fouls on Spurs players in the run-up to that goal. I, I actually... I actually uh, not goal, sorry. I actually don't understand 
football if the ref hasn't given that foul on the edge of the box to Madison. Because he thinks Madders is a player who's going to dive. That's why. It's as simple as that. It's all on his on who he is. He, Madders got his body. But he's come and he's cleaned oh, him out from behind. I agree. Madders has got his body. Oh, that's a terrible tackle from Benzico there. He might get booked for that. You know, it's a scissor tackle. I think he just managed to anyway, get his leg on the Antonio ball. Antonio has missed a one on one in the end. Look at this. Look, Look Madders gets his body bang. in. The... He's taken him out. Of course it's a foul. It's not only a foul, it's a booking. And and then it was just a long ball, and Van der Ven, I was confident, would get there, and he does, but then just slips over. Yeah, he slips. And Antonio ends up, it's a good save in the end. Vicari kind of predicts that he's going to go to his right, and he stands up. It's a great save. Gets there. It's a great save by Big Vic there. <sighs> Kept us in it. Okay, here's a question for you. Had that been a goal, would they have brought it back Surely. and given it against uh, for the foul and thing? I'm Bentico sure. does get a booking for that scissor tackle, by the way. Wow. Surely, surely, surely you'd take it back. I think it would be one of those ones where they don't turn it what, over and it'd be a huge controversy. Because it's too far back? No, no, because it's like they're, they're determined not to... Ref because the ref didn't give it in the first place. Uh, well, which would be wrong for me, but anyway. Good save from Vic. Still in the game. And that's a Spurs throw-in. Except Bowen is trying to make get a free kick out of it, which it definitely wasn't. I think he's trying to get Bentancur sent off. It was wasn't it a doggy? No, I think was it. I don't know. I saw Bentancur in the vicinity there. No, I know it was doggy. you, doggy. Yeah. No, he realizes he hasn't controlled the ball, and then he's pretending to be injured. Bowen, sorry. West Ham being a bit smarter this half. And we're not, unfortunately. We haven't learned. Come on, Tottenham. Let's get back in this. Come on, Spurs. Spurs got away with one there. Can we take advantage? That's an unrealistic throw into Sonny's head there and West Ham win it back. But well done, Basuma. And he's won a, a good free kick there, Destiny Doggy. And Bowen might get himself booked if he's not careful here because he's getting frustrated. He's abusing the ref. <laughs> okay, Spurs have the ball again. First time I've seen, I, I mean, yeah. Van, Antonio did well in that one-on-one -on -one to get his body across Van der Ven, I guess. Oof. Yeah, I think Mickey just got his legs mixed up and just yeah. kind of stumbled over. Oh, no, 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 Can't no. Can't lose the ball there, okay, Tottenham. Away with it. Come on. Just wondering what, what, what we're going to do to make, you know, some changes here because it's... Oh. It's all in front of them. At Kudus the has just beaten Poro to the ball and he's done well. He's kept it nicely. He's a good player, Kudus. It goes back. Good work from Spurs to press him to make him go back, to be honest. And Madders is pressing Mavropanos, who plays a left-footed ball well to uh, Kudus again out on the left-hand touchline. Bit of a press from Spurs. Doesn't quite come off. Nearly did. Poro back to Kudus now on the centre uh, center circle. Sorry, centre line. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, it's coming across. West Ham getting a bit more control of the ball now. Get it out to the right flank with Bowen. He plays it into Pakatar. It's forced to go back by Bissouma. Werner pressing them and Spurs press them all the way back again. Good stuff from Spurs there. Good defensive pressing. I agree with you that Werner's not really in the game at the moment. but He's not. He's been out of it since, since the start of the second half. I just think... Oh, Matt Matters does well there. Well Chance done. on the transition here. Sonny making a good run for Brennan. Can he find him? Just go on your own, Brennan. And he did. It's a good tackle oh. in the end. Comes out to Werner. Got to give him an option here, Werner. Man on. Biss does well. Go on. Bentecourt. Have a pot. Oh, it's a good ball out to Sonny. This is a good position for Spurs. Yes. Oh, over the bar. He goes near post, and I think he should have tried to get it to the far post yeah. through the legs of the defender. Harry Kane style. It's a great opportunity for Sonny. I'm just wondering why Brennan on his run, he didn't didn't have a shot himself. I think, yeah, it just gets caught under his feet a bit there. It's it's just hit. Emerson's done, done yeah, well. It's, it's one of the only tackle. defenders, it's a good one of the only defenders they've got who had the pace to keep up with him, it's to be honest. Good tackle, yeah, to be fair. But that was good play by Johnson. Yeah, another good bit of confident running from, from Brennan. 65 minutes gone. Pat Matasar coming on. Who do you think that's for? Probably Ben Tenkor, just a like for like, with him being on a yellow. On a yellow, as well. yeah. yeah. I don't know how much that's going to change the game, though. I, I'm still looking at someone like Richie. 
No, I think that's a yeah, that's more a opportunist sub if anything yeah. f- because of the yellow. Yeah, the commentator's just saying you wouldn't pick a winner at the moment. No. It's a I mean it's a classic clash of two styles, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. But there we go. They go long over the top towards Kudas. That's too it's much on out. that, I would it's have thought. Out. It's going out. Oh, I'll no, tell you what, no, he does brilliantly. Oh, he's offside wow. anyway. He's offside. And Poro Pero t- uh, takes it quickly. <coughs> yeah. Come on. You could drive into that. I thought we could have taken advantage of that a little bit because uh, they were a bit out of shape, but we've decided to keep the ball. Fair enough. Don't lose it, Timo. Don't lose it. He's done well. Well done, Bissouma. Don't lose it. Well done. Come across. Romero now with the ball. 65 minutes gone. I guess the difference with Saar is he might make more runs in behind than, mm-hmm. than Bentke will, but I think we'll lose a little bit of control in midfield as well. Because I like Saar, but he's not, he's not as cultured on the ball is all I'd say. I hear that. I hear that. I just think, though, having Saar in there gives you more legs. does just, give you more legs. That's another example of Basuma where, you know... He put himself under unnecessary pressure there, and we've ended up having to go all the way back. But I'll tell you what, bad defence. matters. Good ball. Come on. Okay, bit of time for Vernon now to get a so foul if he wants to drive Come at him. On, and there's lads. no bow in there. Oh, oh God, he's done. Why? Absolutely the why? wrong thing there. He's got to be offside there, hasn't he? Bowen. He looked it. Do you see what I'm saying though about that final ball there? If Vernon's ball there is better, we're in. We're running out. It wasn't even a hard ball to no, play. No, it was a f- three-yard pass. Yeah, that was disappointing. It's it, This is the difference between the teams that I see that are a few levels above yeah, us, right? Yeah. You look at your Real Madrid, you look at Inter, you look at, the, you know, City. They don't me- they don't mess these No, I'd even around. argue that you look at Liverpool and you look at Arsenal this season. Anyway, Porres just nicked it off Kudus nicely. Plays it out to Son. Come on, quicker, quick, quick. Ah, that was good. That was good. Go on, Bentico. You've got men coming on you now. Okay, yeah, it could have been a bit quicker there. I really think so. Destiny gets That's out it. wide. Not a good ball, really. To one Timo, more. but quick one two touch. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit five percent off at the moment, pace uh, tempo wise from Spurs. But maybe they're just trying to wrestle some control. Maybe they're waiting for Saar to come on and just tear up the pitch. Come uh-huh. on, Pape. He's just waiting to come on. By the way, lovely ball from Madders into one Brennan. And Poro's got a chance to cross it early. Blocked again. He's going to have a shot, Johnson. It was a good shot. Blocked. But of course it's blocked because West Ham have 11 men behind the ball the whole time, which means it's difficult to break them down, but it means we always get the ball back straight away and keep the pressure back on. West Ham fans won't mind it in games like this, but imagine the rest of the season. Horrible. Basuma. Out wide. Out wide. Look at this. Now, basically, Romero is playing as a number eight at the moment. That's it. Yeah. Bit of space for, again, Poro. And it's obviously going to come back central because we don't have a threat in the box for crosses. Good football from Spurs. Well, Sonny. Char- oh, I'll tell you what, it's just never coming to Sonny in good shooting positions. Oh, good run from Madders. Oh, nice try from Poro. Oh, he's had a dig. Why not? Straight down the keeper's throat. Well done, Pedro. Unlucky. It was on his swinger. Straight down the middle, but... It's just- They're saying Kulisewski's coming on as well. Yeah, Decky and Saar coming Saar's on. Saar's put back on his hoodie, though. Yeah, because the game's still in play, I guess. I don't know. It, might, it looked kind of like there might have been a change. Or maybe you're right. Look, he's still there. He's just put his hoodie on. OK, here come the <coughs> substitutions. <coughs> So, yeah, it's Saar and Kulisevsky. So, it's Bentoncourt coming off for Saar, as expected. He's had a good game. Very, very good game. Apart from one disappointing pass. And it's Madison coming off for Decky. So, you imagine Decky coming and playing in the 10? Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen, I think. James doesn't look too happy about it. He doesn't look happy about it, but we play again on Sunday. Yeah, there's so many games coming up. Robbie Savage is surprised. Now, Decky, you didn't have a great game the other day. You got hooked at half-time. You're now being put on in the position you want to play in. Let's see what happens. Big chance for Decky here in the 10. Van der Ven out to a doggy. Calmly on the ball, gets it to Werner. Tries to flick it around the corner. Doesn't happen. 
And now Werner, your fullback is behind. No, that's fine. Nothing in that, yeah. That Play was, on. Um, For once, the ref's kind of gone with us. Yeah. And it comes back. Basuma. Come on, quick, quick Spurs. Come on. Decky coming deep already to get it off Basuma, who gets it out wide to Romero. Tell you what, it'll do a lot for Decky's confidence to get a winner here. Oh, my God. Do a lot for all of us. Come on. Saar on the ball. Does well. Lays it into so Basuma. Good. He's so good, Pape Matty. Van der Vent gets it out wide nicely. D Doggy's made a nice run for Werner, but he ignores him and comes back instead to Basuma. Lovely ball. Decky in his first position. Lovely into Sonny there. Decky. And that's Beautiful. good football. Get it across the front. Oh, oh, once again, a body shoot. in the way. Just shoot, Johnson. Well Love done. Well done, Decky. Oh, oh you got Oh, and Johnson that. does beautifully there. And Saar's got to be stronger there against Kudus. Oh, he's won it back, though. Well done, Saar. That was well Poro done. who won it back. It was Poro who won it back, but... Anyway, that was a great opportunity from uh, supplied by Decky uh, into Christian. Johnson, who arguably should have shot. Go Chance on, for Sonny. Sonny to shoot here. Gets it out to Werner. Well, drive, Werner. Werner. Drive. Why not? Have a dig. Corner. Sh corner. Deflected. It's a lot better, though. West Ham, better. West Ham on, as you would expect, blocking almost everything because they've always got so many men behind the, uh, behind the, uh, the ball. It's a lot better, though, in that, in that little final third area now. Since Decky's come on, we're playing the ball a little bit quicker. Yeah, he, he, Less he did play the ball quickly there. Come on. I'd fancy, I'd want us to do some short corners here. I don't fancy us direct from a corner. I hope I'm right. I'm wrong. But we did well from short corners at the beginning of the season. Come on, Mickey. You're due a goal. Come on, Mickey. Yeah, or Christian. Good ball from Poro. Oh. No, it's well cleared by Zuma, as you'd fancy. Cleared out. Comes back to Udogi and Bissouma. Bissouma's now got to find an easy ball if he can. Oh, he's going to go all the way back to Vic. Okay, that's fine. 72 minutes gone. Someone needs to give Vicario an option here. Saar's coming to him. And Saar gets it off him. And West Ham have now completely stopped pressing Spurs whatsoever. Come on, lads. Let's get the win. Apply some pressure on Villa. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Poro. Out to Brennan. Who, That's who, it, nice. Go nice on. from Brennan. A little bit of pace there. Stay on side, Saar. Go on, Pape. Lovely ball. Oh, what a what ball a from ball. Saar. And that's another example where Werner's got to get across his man. Suchek does well. Sorry, um, Sofal does well to clear it. Very similar to the own goal that was scored against uh, for us against Luton at the weekend. Anyone that gambles there, you're scoring at the back stick. Yeah, agreed. Fantastic power on the right Saar. now. Going to try and... Spurs Johnson's has gone back here looking for that was Romero. a lovely little driving run from Johnson there though wasn't brilliant. it to set that brilliant. up that's what he needs to do more of it was brilliant play by Johnson I think he's been probably our best player today to be honest yeah he's been impressive that's why he's still on the pitch but come on we need the goal come on lads 73 minutes gone Romero into Porro gets it back Van der Ven's on yeah and it comes out to the left now Werner going to show for him? No, Pat Matassar does. You know damn well West Ham are going to get another chance, so we have to do something. Romero again out to Kulisewski. He's hanging on the right now. He loves playing central, central, but actually when he does, he often then finds himself drifting into that right position anyway. Yeah. Lovely ball. Wow. Pair up poor in a good position. Oh, it's good defending. And now Kudus has the ball on the transition. Johnson does well and no gets a booking. Foul. No, oh, no. I, I think he took that one per on purpose. I don't mind that. Uh, I don't know, you know. No, no, they were on transition. I, I don't mind that. He took his booking for the team there, Johnson. I hear you to stop the, the counter attack. Yeah, because look, Antonio could yeah. be in down the line. Oh, uh, yeah. The commentator saying, I'm not sure uh, Antonio would have had enough head start on Van der Ven. <laughs> 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 He's also just said that you'd love to see a, a foot race between Van der Ven and Kyle Walker. Oh, Doggy's just let that go over his head a little easily there, I think. But anyway, comes out to Bowen. Oh, it's a good ball. Chance here for Sp West Ham, but well done. Well cleared by Pat Matassar. He must have been offside there, surely. Anyway, yeah, they've kicked it off. That was a bit of a danger there. Fifteen minutes of normal time to go. You wouldn't say there'd be a lot of added time either today. It's been quite a normal game. Yeah, there hasn't been any lengthy injuries or anything. Oh, look at that throw to Sonny. What is he supposed to do with that anyway? 
Van Van's in a bit this trouble. Is why here. I'm a bit I'm a bit surprised I haven't seen Richie come on here for you know his oh, hold up. West Ham have got the ball back in a dangerous area here. Well, well won, defended. Hey, brilliant, brilliant challenge. Lovely from a doggy. Gives it back to Son and Son loses it. Bowen's going to get down. Well done, Bissouma. Don't. Well done, Bissouma. Don't do anything stupid now. You've done the hard bit. Get rid of it. Well done. Goal That's kick. Does really well there, Bissouma. Come Bad on, lads. Him. It's turned into a but classic yeah, Spurs saying? West Ham this, game. This feels to me like Richie's crying on to come out to hold up the play a little bit for his aerial threat. I agree, but I also think Ange is like, if we're going to get a chance, I want it to fall to Sonny. That... Uh, I hear that as well, but you couldn't keep him on. Take Werner off. Put yeah. Sonny on the left. Yeah, that is a possibility. I think we might see that soon. Anyway, Vicario has the ball at his feet. Van der Ven to his left. Romero to his right. They're draw trying to draw out West Ham. Have a look at Romero. There we go. Look how deep Pape is dropping to get on the ball. Yep. Spurs just building it up. West Ham just... You can see why they do well in Europe, because they're so hard to beat. Like, just... They know they're going to nick goals with set pieces and with the pace on the break. Van der Ven plays a little drop ball over, and Zuma has to deal with this. And so Sonny presses Zuma into kicking it off for a Spurs throw-in. Looks like West Ham are looking to make some changes, potentially. So Spurs have a throw-in high up the pitch on the left-hand side. A doggy with it. Let's just find someone and keep the ball here. Basuma's on, isn't he? Let's get Basuma to throw it back, give it back to him. Yeah, well done. Basuma into good play into Good play Decky there. That was there. nice. Yeah, come on. Comes out to Romero, and this will come to Johnson, who should now just take him on Johnson. Nah, comes into Decky, gets it back to Brennan. Good ball. Going to try and win a corner here, Brennan. Yeah, he is. He tries to chip it up. It's a poor ball straight into Fabianski's arms in the end. He's very good at those whipped low crosses, but he had a bit too much time to think about that one and just scoops it up to Fabianski. And West Ham throw it short into Zuma. Brennan, it's going to come to you, I think. I know, it tries a, a difficult ball, and that's good from West Ham, to be fair. And Antonio's in if they can find him, and he kicks it off, which is good for us. It's our ball, isn't it? Yeah. This is the thing, though. West Ham, you know, you talk about a storyline. They could get a corner here in the 85th and just We know just it. Of it. course we know it. Oh, lo the, lovely turn from Decky there. Beautiful, beautiful. I just hope it's the other storyline so that's going to be written. You know, so the Decky, the Ginger from Sweden. Oh, I'd love that. Come on, Ginger. <laughs> Got to be one of my favourite Spurs songs of all time, by the way. Yeah, it's great. I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I can't claim it. I'm yet to write a chant, believe it or not. So next player in. Oh, lovely ball we'll from Romero. It. Unfortunately, it just took... So Porro actually took it quite well, but it bounced up and then he had to try and find a ball and it goes ends up going back to Fabianski. I don't want to settle him for the point here. Point doesn't do us any good, really. In that hunt for fourth. Listen, Robbie Savage has just said Moyes would be happy with the point. I think that's true, but I think he also knows that if they stay at one all here, they will get a chance. Yeah, I don't think Moyes will be happy with a point. You don't? No. Oh, I, I do. No, no, I don't. I don't. Because they're fighting for Euro Europa League, aren't they? Yeah, aren't but I, the way they're, they're playing, you can tell that they're going to be happy for a point. Destiny or Doggy with some beautiful play there in midfield. Win that bis, well, well done. Uh, it was Pat Matasar oh, there. Was it Saar? Yeah, but comes back to well Poro. Done, plays it into Bissouma now. That was lovely from the Doggy there. Just turned on the afterburner. Shows how easy he can do that. This, this is good is stuff there. from Spurs. But look, as ever, West Ham, back four, nice and deep. With everything in front of them, it's where they like their opposition to play. Maybe, maybe Rishi just isn't that fit because he didn't give him many minutes the other day. No, strange. he didn't play at all for Brazil, did he? When he came on against Luton, lovely though, ball from Saar right. there into Basuma, lovely into Son, Son into Poro, and Johnson's got some space. Decky makes a little run for him. Nice, Sonny. No space for Sonny. Out to. Oh, lovely what? cross. Oh. Oh, Did Werner no. nod it off him? It's offside anyway in the end. Oh. It was so far, was it, who nodded it? So frustrating. Yeah, I thought that. I thought it might have come off Werner as well. Where's the offside then? It's Werner. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, Werner is offside. offside. But in the end, I think he ends up actually heading it off Saar's. Yeah. Anyway, he was offside anyway. Oh, Saar really didn't call for that it. one up, didn't he? Werner really Saar messed needs that to one shout up. louder there. Yeah. So Rishi looks like he's taking his bib off. Come on, Rishi. Be the hero. Come on. Be the pigeon hero we all need. Come on. Talk about storylines. It's set up for the Brazilian Pierre here on a Hoy wet night. Pierre Emil Hoiberg as well. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, brilliant from Basuma there. Very vital touch to get away what could have been a big chance. Vicario to Romero. Is he going to turn away? He does eventually. Yeah, does well against Ward Prowse. You don't want to fight against Romero, do you? Werner coming <laughs> off for Richarlison. You've been calling that for a while. Yeah. Would have made sense 20 minutes ago as well. So Werner, who set up the goal, will still get abused by a lot of Spurs fans because he hasn't really been in it since, which I think was maybe, for me, more of a tactical change by West Ham. But He seems like such a likeable guy, Werner, you know, comes off in the interviews as yeah. really nice and everything. I, I just want to see a little bit more from him, just a little bit more. If he could do what he did for that first half, in that second half as well, I'd be, I'd be delighted with do you, life. Yeah. Do you remember before the game me saying... Or at the beginning, me saying, you know, I wasn't that upset after the Fulham game because we deserved to get beaten. We did. This is one of those ones that if and when West Ham score a late winner, I'll be totally gutted oh, about I'm it. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I'll be livid. So who do you think? Hoiberg for Bissouma? Must be. Yeah. Must be. Yeah. And this is coming off here for Hoiberg. for Werner. So Sonny out left, we think. I think And so. a chance for us to put some more crosses in when we get in those That's areas. It. That's it. You know, you stick it... Ricci is fantastic in the air. You give him one chance, he most likely bury it. So, just hoping we can provide now. Come on, Ricci. Put those psychological demons in your past with a goal here. Oh, I've on. been very, very impressed with Richarlison being honest about all that stuff. It's Brilliant, isn't it? It's completely Refreshing. unlike. That was never a foul. Oh, chance. Can you get it down, Rishi? Can you give it? Well oh, done. Oh, beautiful from well Rishi. Done, Decky Rishi. in a good shape. He hasn't got the pace for this. Needs help. Needs help. Big time. Oh, find. Oh, oh nearly oh, slipped it into lucky. Johnson. Go on, he's won it back. Come on. Go on, Rishi. Good stuff from Spurs winning that back. Pierre into Decky. This is, into this Saar. is better. Quick up. Open it out, it. Decky. One more. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Decky just. Do you know what? The way that skewed off his foot there was exactly how it did when Luton scored their first goal. You remember he was in on the right. Yeah. He's trying to lay it across the box and it skews off like a 50p foot. It's so weird when he does that. Anyway, it was good from Spurs, but unfortunately Decky's final pass there as he tries to play it across, I think, to Sonny, just skews off his foot out for a throw. Yeah. Oh, come on, Ricky. He's just fouled, I think, Antonio kind of pretty unnecessarily. West Ham take it quickly and come across to Emerson on the left. Brennan Johnson working hard to get out here. The good man. Make him go back. Make him go back. Good. And Richarlison pressing hard. Danny Ings is going to come on. He likes a late goal. Oh, bloody He's man. actually a really nice guy, Danny Ings. West Ham in down the right now. It's Kudus against Van der Ven and Hoiberg, and he cuts inside. Have they swapped them over? Looks like it. Plays it out to Antonio, gets it into Emerson. Now it looks like they've put Jared. I oh know Jared's come back out to the right now. Antonio now driving at Pedro Porro, gets to the byline. Keeper, well, well done. done. Quick now, quick. Curry, come what on, can you big. see? Give him an option. That's it. Okay, comes to Decky. No, you. <sighs> man on, man on, well, Decky. That was a foul oh. twice, I think. Someone's got to be shouting at him, though. Pierre quickly to Saar. He's going to give it. Oh, what are you looking for there? Pierre Emil Hoiberg has just gone for a big diag, not really in his game, and as a result, we've lost it. But good pressure from Spurs here. Richarlison pressing Fabianski makes him go long. Can we win this first ball? No, it's gone straight up to Kudas. That's not great. Win that, Pape. Perhaps just got it. Don't. Well done. Big touch there from from Hoiberg. Well done. Goes out for a West Ham throw. He's getting a bit of space now. Uh, Kudas. There's about five minutes Ooh, of and West Ham have just thrown here. it. Pakatar, don't foul him. Don't foul him. Plays it behind Sofal. Come on, Sonny looking a bit tired now. Rishi. And now Decky pressing Zuma and the back line. And Emerson goes into the channel. It's a good run from Ward Prowse and a good touch. 
West Ham just getting a little bit of joy keeping the ball now for the first time in a long time, I'd say. Comes back to their back line. Mavropanos plays it out wide nicely. Destiny up again. Oh, Pakatar's found Bowen. Mickey van der Ven has been called out, and that's a bit of a worry if he gets a cross in, to be honest. Van der Ven does well. It's a corner. You know it. Oh, don't say it. Don't say it, Barnaby. I, I, I don't mean you know it's going to I just mean, like, you know that's what they're playing for. Oh, it's all they play for. I think I would even say this is why they keep Antonio on the pitch at this point. I'd say so. Why else do you want him there? So Hoiberg is standing near Antonio, but for me, he's got to stand between Vicario and Antonio. And also, look, Zuma's behind him, so he might try and block him as well. It's come into the... Oh, it's exactly the same thing again. And is it going to be another corner? I think there's a foul on you, doggy. Oh, Johnson. Johnson's down. What's he done? Actually, I think it comes off Kulisevsky. It's a chance for Suchek at the back post there. But they don't score. 86 minutes gone. Oh, has he? Ooh, oh, I wonder if he's done his... I wonder if... I oh, know, he's trying to run it off. I just wondered if he sprained his ankle there, but looks like it's an impact injury. He's trying to run it off. Four minutes of normal time. I would guess there will be only four minutes, five minutes of added. Five maximum. I would max, say so. Big max. Vicario with the goal kick now. Lays it out to Romero. Kudus near him. Tries to chip it. Oh, terrible ball Poor from Romero. Ball. But, here we but go. I tell you what, Hoiberg saw what was going to come there. Oh, and has made yeah. a lovely little run. Gets it out wide now to Sonny, who On can drive at Sofal. And Hoiberg's made a lovely run for him. Yeah, here's Hoiberg. Can you get it across the front? It's oh. a corner. You're never, gonna get You're never going to get a handball for that ever in this day and age. Unless, magically, he's put his arm out like that, which he wouldn't have done. I'd be tempted to play this short, Spurs. Put them under some pressure. Yeah, no, it's, not it's off his ball. chest. Doesn't yeah. even hit his hand. Yeah. But lovely from Hoiberg there. It was like he saw what was going to happen. Broke the line a little bit. It was good. Anyway, who's on this now? Is it Sonny whipping this one in? No, Poro. it's Poro. Come on, Poro. In swing. Come on, Tottenham. This would be a great story if we could score from a set piece against them. Saar is a bit bigger as well. It's a decent ball, but no. Straight onto Zuma's head. And Johnson just tries to dip in. I think Romero was offside there. But clears to Saar. Have a dig. Why not? Oh, that's why not. Oh. Goes wide. Just didn't have enough backlift there. They ought to... Looks like Andy's trying to make one more change. What could that be? Lo Celso, maybe? Maybe. Or Dragushin, maybe, for set pieces? For set stuff? pieces, possibly. It's Lo Celso. It's Lo Celso. Probably for Johnson. Stick Kulu out on the wing. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, the commentator agrees with you. Looks like Looks like Johnson's a bit... Struggling with that injury a bit as well. Yeah, they're getting him on quickly as a result. Lo Celso, they're trying to. So Spurs have a throw in on the right. Hoiberg back to Poro, who goes along with it. Why not? Go on, Sonny. Put him under some danger here. Oh, good press, Decky. Keep going, Decky. Make him kick it out. It's good. Well won. Oh, that's a shame. Hoiberg with a good header there. Oh, I'll tell you what. That's a good header from West Ham. Oh, oh and another foul in midfield. Hoiberg's going to get booked. Classic. It's this ref, man. Classic. West Ham have gone early down the middle. Oh, Spurs have stopped. Vicari has made two brilliant saves. Make another one. Go on, Vic. Oh. <laughs> well, then you've got to get booked. He's got to get booked. Surely. Surely. There's just no consistency to the refereeing anymore. There's just... I don't know if there ever was, but... Okay, Gio on for Brennan Johnson. Went to the 90th minute. I have to say, at this point, I'd take a point. I feel like the inevitability of these games, you know. I hear that. I just, I feel that it's just two points lost. Just, you know, West it Ham. Is, but, but this is how they defend. It's hard it to is, make chances. It is, it is, it is. I just, have we done enough to, to really... No, I don't think so. But they've got, they've got the their West bodies defense. on the line every time. They've, they've blocked crosses and shots all day, every day. They do. There's still another chance in this game. They do. 90th minute, look, they've gone for a strange little early free kick there. Saar gets there first, oh. and Hoiberg gets something on it. Decky be strong, gets well his body done, in the way Decky. nicely, oh, and then loses it. Lose it there. Oh, what did oh. Hoiberg do there in a 50... I guess because he's been booked, he was worried. 
Decky does well brilliantly. Well done, Decky. And then Rick. dives on the floor. Yeah, get up. Get up, Decky. It was Romero got booked there. I don't know what that was for. Emerson with the phone. So we're into the 91st minute now, and they're telling us how many added there are. Four minutes. Four. Yeah, I thought it might be four. It's not a lot. No. Romero to Poro. Oh. Come on, there's one more chance in this game. Yeah, Come let's on. Hope, let's make it for us. Well done. Oh, we've got it out wide. They're in good position here. Romero, stand. Oh, it's a corner. It's oh, a corner, no. and he's going to... Don't he's get yourself sent off here, Romero. Well, you know why he's going mental. Of course he is. Oh. Imagine this, just being a team where all you do is try and get corners. Anyway, you know why it makes me angry. <laughs> you and probably 80, 90% of the West Ham fan base as well. You can't have a go at Oiberg. Well, they've... Oh, my God. I can't take these corners. So, Antonio and Zuma are just standing on Vicario. And weirdly, Vicario stands be in front behind them. I would try and get in front of them. I guess he's worried about the one that goes over the top of his head. He's going to whip this in Ward-Prowse with pace. And here it goes. Goes to the back stick. He got, I'll tell you what, Vicario did brilliantly then. Punched it out. Come on, press them high. No cross, no cross. Stop the cross, Sonny. Stop the cross. Cross comes in. Near post. And it goes all the way back to Fabianski. Vicario, credit Pressure. where it's due. Did well there. Did well, yeah. Sonny pressing Fabianski, who goes big diag to the left. Get off the pitch. Good, it does. Come on, quick now. Quick, quick. Oi. Come on, Poro. Two minutes left. Come on, lads. Let's get the win. Come I'd on. just like to see us make a chance. Come, Come on, on. West Ham back in their shape. 11 men behind the ball, as per. Geo on the ball. All left foot, as ever. Romero on the ball. West Ham just getting deeper and deeper. No interest in pressing him at all, because they know it's going to be hard to defend. Richarlison on the edge of the box. Hold it up, Rishi. Does well in the end. Well. Get it out to Sonny. And Sonny, you try and get a cross in. Don't be afraid to get a cross in. Now we've got Rishi on the bet. Been steady loser, but he gets it back. Luckily, Sonny. One more. Destiny now in a good position, but unfortunately it slips under his foot. If he's out wide. Can you win a corner or something? No, comes back. There's no space he's there. He's there to help him. Wins a throw in. It's just, just claret shirts everywhere. Minute and a half. Comes back now to Saar. Romero's he's going to give it to Romero, but Romero's going to be pressed Romero. by Antonio. Doesn't want to press too there. high. Decky's there. Here's a chance for Decky for that left foot cross I talked about. No, he gives it to Poro. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they just feel like it's Richarlison against a load of six foot eight blokes. Anyway, comes back out to Gio now on the left. Don't lose it, Gio. Oh, gives a horrible ball to Pierre, who does well with it. But we're going backwards a little bit. 93 minutes, one minute left. Gio now again in the 10. Gets it out to Poro. Back into Christian Romero, who's playing as a number eight at the moment and is driving at the West Ham defence. Gives it to Decky. Here's a chance for that cross. Get that cross in. There it is. Go on. Oh, oh God, it man. fell to a doggy and it's gone straight down the throat of Fabianski. Any other side of the keeper and that's going in. The first time in the whole game we put oh. a cross in the box, they didn't deal with it. It fell to a doggy and we... Should have, arguably, it should have scored. Should have scored. Well, well, well. That just shows. Saar does well there. Unfortunately, Rishi's not there. West Ham go big into the channel. Oh, no, you've let it bounce. Kudus, what have we done? What have we done? Stand up. Okay, get your, just get rid of it. Oh, that's got to be better. Bowen's in. Huge chance for West Ham to score the winner. Is there a break on for Spurs? On, Spurs? There's a break on for Spurs, on. Sonny. Go it's on. the last kick of the game. Go on, Sonny. Three on three. Come on. He's gone to Richard, to Decky on the left. Keep going. Spurs players are flying forward. What are you doing there? Why? And now they're on the No, break. this isn't funny because Kulusevski has just made a massive error that could fuck us. And Pakita's just... We're fucked. Wait. That's the end. Oh, my days. Oh my days, what are they trying to do to us in these final minutes? Unbelievable. I can't tell you how disappointed I am with Kulisevsky there because he's played the, the one non-percentage ball of the whole, uh, he's four on four, anyway, we'll talk about it.
It finishes West Ham 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1 at the London Stadium. We will be back in a second with our post-match reaction. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, welcome to We Are Tottenham TV. It's just finished West Ham 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1 at the London Stadium. I'm here with Amir. We're going to start at the end, believe it or not, because it was a mad last minute of the game where West Ham had a chance to break, break through on Spurs and we nicked it off them and had a proper transition. What looked to me like four on three. Kulisevsky's like yeah. got the ball and he's tried to play the ball long over the top of the three defenders. And it's flicked off a defender. And as a result, West Ham have had a guilt edge chance to win that game. And it, it reminds me, actually, of the Stalteri last second goal. Spurs <laughs> against West Ham at the old Berlin ground. Yeah. Madness. Amir, oh, how do you feel? Oh, do you know what? I'm just feeling a bit deflated after that one. Because you can see that in the gameplay, we're so much better than West Ham on the ball. We just didn't manage to convert that into goals today and and you know conceding the way we did as well it's it's infuriating i really feel that these are the kind of games that we should be coming home with three points from having said that it's a point away from home at west ham i can't be too down yeah and disheartened um I, I still think there's a lot of work to do. Listen, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it from the start. West Ham are an embarrassment of a team. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, I get it. I, I get why West Ham fans are so disappointed. Like, sure, tonight they'll be happy with a point. Of course they will. Yeah. But we absolutely dominated them. And all they've got, all they've literally got is 11 man, men behind the ball, right? And then score from a corner. And yeah, they put us under loads of pressure because they were purposely just trying to win corners. That's and I see, they doing. And I see why they, they do doing. it. But I can also totally see why West Ham fans are, are, are so devastated by the way that their teams play. But on the flip side of that, I'd say, and this is not a West Ham channel, so this is the last I'll say. On the flip side, I'd say, be careful what you wish for as well, because they may try and get a, you know, a progressive manager, just like, uh, say, Palace have done down the years when they got um, De Boer in. Mm. They may end up like doing way worse, but honestly, they are an ugly side. And, and I will say, I said it at half time, I think, I'm so glad to have Ange now. I'm so glad that we are the team who are trying to win against these kind of these kind of sides who, who put 11 behind the ball. It was, you know, sure, I think a lot of people might say, oh, not that many shots on target or whatever, because they were just blocking everything. Every single player in their team, other than maybe Bowen up front, is about six foot five, yeah. putting their body on the line. Good for them, you worked hard, but... Oh, they're an ugly side to play. What I will say is I think there are a lot of very positive performances from Spurs today. Even though he got taken off early, I thought Rodrigo Bentancourt had one of his, his best games. You mm -hmm. talked about Brennan Johnson, that maybe you would have given him man of the match. Do you still feel that way? Yeah, I think that Brennan, for us, you know, he showed you know a lot, a lot of um, ability going forward, taking his man on. I can think of a few good balls that he put in there. Lucky that Werner, I mean, unlucky that Werner didn't gamble and, and yeah. get on the end of one of them. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that he was our brightest spark. I think he just got, you know, yanked off at the end. Maybe a little knock that he took. He got yanked like off at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did well. Yeah, they just they get pulled off. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did. He did indeed. All of the above. All of the above. And um, yeah, I just think that he was probably our brightest spark. Apart from him, I think Rodrigo was probably the main man in midfield. They're getting on the ball. Um, defensively, Van der Ven was. Colossal. Almost perfect. Yeah. yeah. You know, as centre backs go. It's worth probably saying at that point, there was one moment in the second half where West Ham made a guilt edge chance for themselves, other than that last kick of the game uh, period, which was where James Madison did beautifully on the edge of their box to mm. get his body in the way between the ball and their um, defender. Won a foul and the ref doesn't give it. They go up the other end, Antonio's in, Van der Ven gets back and then just kind of gets slightly unbalanced, falls on the floor, and Antonio is actually through on goal and Vicario makes a big save. Other than that, I don't remember them really, other than that and corners, I don't remember them making anything. No, that, those were their main threats the whole game. Um, like you said, every time they got a, a set piece, a corner, you just felt that something could happen. And that's to do with us. That's not to do with them. They're, they, you know, they're always going to be good at set pieces. Any Moyes side, that's yeah. how they set up. We should have you know, tactics in place to nullify their threats. And that's what I can't quite understand. We've seen it again and again, this, you know, corner tactic where they put three men on our goalkeeper and then they just fling that ball into the six yard box and 
occasionally it works for them. Today, it, it not only worked once, but the second one they had as well that could have gone in with Antonio just being offside there from the rebound. Yeah. Another great save from Vic. It was. So that's something for me that we need to be looking at. How do we nullify that threat? Can I just raise something on that sure. point, right? Just going through the team, the starting team tonight, mm -hmm. I would argue only Van de Ven and Bentoncourt are taller than six foot one, six foot two. So maybe it's an element. So look at this, right? Porro, Udogi, mm -hmm. both pretty short. Romero's not the tallest. Basuma, not the tallest. You do, you doggy six foot, no? He's oh, is he six, six foot? foot? Okay, but not yeah. taller. Yeah. Not taller. When yeah. I'm talking about players, when I look at Sufal, Zuma, Mavropanos, uh, Suchek yeah, uh, and Antonio. They're all huge. So yeah. I wonder if when you're looking, I'm just playing devil's advocate a bit. I wonder if they're looking tactically at how to deal with this. They're like, well, Vicario is six foot four. So if the ball comes onto him, it's your job to deal with that. But our tall players, we have to worry a bit more about the people coming from the penalty spot. I mean, frankly, I'm playing devil's advocate. I don't think it worked. Mm, no. We were we were in danger every corner they got every when it was corner. being plopped onto his head. And the delivery against a team like West Ham with Ward, Prowse, Prowse and Bowen was good enough to do it. And we looked like we were going to concede every time. Yeah, it's, it's a lethal combination when you stick all those tall players up. And I'm just, you know, you can say, OK, we've got short defenders. But there's got to be a way of nullifying that threat, even if it's telling Vic, you know what, be as physical as you as you can be. Yeah. Just push I the players out the I way. I completely agree. Just push them out the way. Get out my way. This is my six-yard box. I'm going to command this area. Any ball that comes within this region, I'm coming to punch out, yeah. regardless if I'm taking you out on the way or you out on the way. I completely agree, so yeah. So that's what I want to see. Another thing, you know, a small thing that I can take from, from sitting here and doing these games with you, Barnaby, is that final ball I think that if we can be a bit classier in that department not I'm not talking about winning the ball back we're great at that we're great at pressing we're great at put, applying the pressure yeah. it's the ball before the assist it's the one ball that will unlock the defence let's say that last attack that we had going when Kulosevsky wastefully just tries to cross that's the ball that you need to be perfect it could only be a two-yard ball or three-yard ball. It doesn't have to be a outside-of-the-foot special. It can just sometimes be a ball that takes a few players out of the game. Can I, can I just say, I, I completely agree, but I also think it's the decision-making yeah. as much as it is the execution yeah. of the ball because so many yeah. positions... like. The reason that ball was bad at the end, it's absolutely the wrong decision. Like, it's yeah. absolutely the wrong decision. He had met players making runs there, runs there. He even could have beaten the man himself, I think, because he squared himself up. Yep. So, look, I, I love Kulisevsky. I think he's a great player. I think it was right that he didn't start today. I think Brennan Johnson had a great game. But the reason why some of the fans, I think, get a bit pissed off with him is because sometimes his decision-making is not great. And, and that was a good example. of. And, and also, I know we said it again, but also that is dangerous decision-making. Because the yes. one thing there, I know we're wanting to score a goal, but whatever you do, don't give it up with 10 seconds to go so that we're absolutely stuffed at the back. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly, exactly. And I think... When it comes to that final ball and that decision making, I think it's something that we've got to look at because I've seen it in other aspects of our game. When we're attacking and we come, we cut back and we're on the edge of the box or, or we're in an area or a vicinity where you can take a shot, I feel like sometimes we don't take a shot and then we just faff around with it, end up losing the ball, chance is gone. Yeah. And then sometimes where you're screaming at the player for taking a shot, they cut it back and then again it goes to pot. So yeah. I think that's an area of the game where for me, if we can, you know, go from being intermediate to an advanced yes. setting, then yeah. you're gonna see the goals start flooding in. Yeah. It's just about making that switch. And and you know, we talked about being clinical. We weren't clinical today. On a day where we were, we'd probably take home the three points. Unfortunately, today we were just lacking a little bit of fluidity and, and a little bit of now in that final third and unfortunately yeah. we just couldn't get over the line today. yeah uh, and i said it in the show i'll say it again now you can see why west ham do so well in europe because they're incredibly hard to break they're down really break and they've down. got threats i want to talk about destiny yeah. doggy i thought he had his best game for a long time he, he he showed for me all of his talents today in terms of he makes the right decision most of the time in terms of when to give it easy and then when to use his pace to break past a player when to make a run past burner when to come inside what a talent oh fantastic performance 
the icing on the cake could have been that goal, right? He was so close at the last breath to, to, to nearly, nearly get the winner. He just... Not enough force on the shot. Yes. Oh, what a chance that was. If you didn't see the game, basically, the f we, we, we've been calling most of the second half, especially Amir, actually, bring on um, Richarlison so we can get some co crosses in the box. Yeah. We get our f what feels to me like our only aerial cross in the box with, after about 93 minutes, and West Ham struggled to deal with it, and it falls on the volley to, um, you know, it's bounced once, but on the volley to Odogi. And if anything, he hits it too well. If it skews a bit off the side of his boot, it goes in the corner, yeah. straight down Fabianski's oh, throat. Unlucky. It would have put the ice on the cake oh. for a fantastic performance. De defensively, he was mopping everything up. Physically, I don't think there's any player that can deal no. with him physically no. in the Premier League. He's a real specimen. Um, I do, you know, me being Spurs and, you know, having seen him play last season in Udinese, I know he's got goals in his game. So yeah, he does, yeah. I want to see him add those goals for us, you know. I, I know he's good in the air. He He's good with his feet as well. If we get in, in those positions that we saw him, he can finish. So I just, I want to see even more from you, Doggy, going forward. But defensively, phenomenal today. Yeah. Hat goes off to him and long may the performances continue Real okay talent. you've got to think nottingham forest on sunday late kickoff yep. you've got to think that they'll play in a similar way to west ham i don't think they've got quite as much in terms of probably keeping us out as west mm. ham did mm. what would you look at just very quickly what would you look at in terms of changes for that i think he brought madison off early i think madison will will start still i think he's still the kind of the key master for us the kind of quarterback um, it is no surprise to me at all that our stats with Van der Ven are so much better than they are when we're without him because he is just an unbelievable, oh. phenomenal talent. <laughs> like, he's one of those ones where I'm like, if I'm Daniel Levy, I'm already giving him an extended contract on more wages. Yeah, signing him till 2030, hands down. Exactly, <laughs> hands exactly. Down. So what what changes, you, you know, you mentioned earlier, Werner wasn't really in the game. Yeah. After that, would you, you you put Sonny out wide against Forrest and, yeah, and bring Rishi what? in? Yeah, I think that's one of the things. I'm I'm a little bit more old school when it comes to centre forwards. I love a proper centre forward who can do the, the aerial things, who, who is a front man, who is a target man. And I think when Ricci's in that team, it does offer you. I know it's not exactly the way we play, but it offers you something different. And in terms of hold-up play and stuff like that, I think Richie's been doing phenomenal when he came on against Luton and he did really well. So I wouldn't mind seeing a Richie, Sonny on the left and Johnson on the right, you know, for, for that pace coming in. Um, I think that might get us over the line against Forrest. Okay. Once again, I think another, another scrap probably on uh, Sunday against Forrest. We'll be, be back easy. here. Amir, thank you so much for watching that game with me. Guys at home, don't forget, Pleasure. we will be here with a post-match fan show in about 10 minutes' time, so you can call in and speak to us. And, of course, press, press the like button on this, subscribe to We Are Tottenham TV, come to my channel at Barnaby Slater underscore for the daily Spurred On podcast. That handle is in the title. Give me a little subscribe. Really appreciate it. But most importantly, after I'd say, a, in the end, a satisfying draw, if not the best result we probably deserved at West Ham. Come on, you Spurs.